now. All right, so uh, essentially Mike and Alan right now how I DM so free content. I'm not going to say anything because you'll get the hang of it. Um, just one thing I want <laughs> you to know is if I start speaking fast and you understand what I say, just please let me know so I can go back and repeat myself because I talk fast. And if you yeah, jam with me for a while, noticed. you'll uh, get used to it. All right, so with that being said, I typically don't run full evil campaigns. This might be a little exception for this game, the way it is, the nature of it. Um, but don't go rampaging murder hobo. But if you want to be a little evil in this campaign, I'm fine with it with you guys. Now, with that being said, I do know the scope of this game is going to be the fact that you all are essentially in the business of merchanting. So we'll deal with uh, how that plays out, which I've never done before. So... With that being said, and me being a bit new to this rule set again, because I've only run a couple sessions before when we did a bit of a test, so I'm going to be on this as we go. Now, you're level zero characters. What that means is you are a commoner. You are not a hero right now, which means a sword thrust will kill you if it happens. So keep that in mind as we start this game off. You're going to become the... I don't want to call you guys heroes. I can't picture you guys being heroes, but you're going to become the status of unique, strong individuals as the game plays. So, without further ado, this is going to be Shadow of the Demon Lord. Now, this game takes place in the lands of Arstalon. That is the world I'm calling this right now. Uh, and you'll see it in the chat. So, this is the world Arstalon. Now... This takes place in the city of Nevenin, and you will see that on the image that pops up on your screen when it does. I'm going to make that the background. Uh, yeah. So we're in the center of the world. Yes. That's not great. How do you make it to the background of the world? So yeah. you see at the top right of the image itself, there's a little uh, arrow that goes up, and the arrow goes down. Hit the arrow that goes up. That's nice. Now, Kansai, if you don't you know finish guys before, so how you can move around this image is by holding down the middle mouse button. Um, you can mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and so you can uh, play around with it. Mm -hmm. you now, making your background, everything else will be on top, and you, you, it'll be like that yeah, image okay. is just gonna be in the back. Mm -hmm. Don't bother you. Now, with the lands. And you're currently, right now, in Nevenin. It is a temperate terrain. There are plains to the east. There are a bit of woodlands to the south, north, and the west. We have farmland as well to the east. Now, Nevenin itself is a, a large population of about maybe three, 4,000 people. So it's not a essential metropolis or a large city, but it is a city in itself. It can, for the most part, support itself. It does rely on the farmlands from the Greenwalds to the east. As well as trade that comes in from Rollcrest, Green Edge, as well as Whetstone and Samarol. The export of Nevenin, what it's known for, the city itself, is that at one point in time, the far north that is known as the Frozen Waste had a event, a cataclysmic event. There was a old kingdom that was rising to power that was controlled by... Well, the necromantic arts, and they decided at one point to go ahead and take over a bit of the realms. Now, these were unusual in the sense that these necromancers, these minions, these undead they brought forth were clad in armor made up of ice and the ice elements. And they came down, they caused a bit of havoc, but the capital of Greenwald, which is Heart's Rest, gathered together and essentially beat the shit out of them. And in the destruction that accrued, the Gelid Gulf was made. It was at one point an actual landscape, but the arts of magic that came from Heart's Rest destroyed the landscape and made the Gelid Gulf. This was thousands of years ago. Ever since, the frozen north has just been that now, a frozen wasteland. There are some cities, there are some settlements up there, but the necromancers of old have all perished. They've not been around. Now, with that being said, the current environment when it comes to the people around, humans are the most tolerated. 
when it comes to elves, dwarves, they're also the most tolerated. Now, the the newer esque races that have started to come into their own, that being the goblins, that being the other non typical humanoid standing races, are approached with a bit of sometimes outright revulsion, sometimes just a a smirk or a backward glance that you do not belong. So that is the case today, as all of you are at the gates of Nevenin. Now, what brings you to Nevenin could be a matter of things. But here's what I'm going to say. To make this easy, because this game is going to be based upon how long I can actually continue not working with uh, COVID going out in the world right now. So to make this easy, all of you have known each other. Now the question is, how long have you known each other? Hmm. Is this a relative <laughs> agreement? Confounding? Now, all of you are merchants. All of you are people. Well, I mean not merchants, but all of you are in a way linked together by the merchant business. So the question is, some of you that might be of a law or a aggressive or a nature or a background that would give to aggression or soldier work could have been a guard. Those of you that got the business of actually being a merchant could be the actual merchant of the group. So we now need to develop a bit of the background of why you guys are together and how long. So as you are standing there, the people coming into Nevenin right now are being essentially talked to by the town guards. The gate can hold probably about four wagons side by side. There's a bit of a train of wagons. You're about the sixth one back, and there's a couple wagons in front of you. Some are bigger than yours. Some are smaller. Some people are getting a bit angry having to wait. Usually this is a situation that doesn't quite happen that often where you have to wait. Usually town guard will let people go through. But for some reason, you don't know why, the guards are talking to every single individual wagon or people that go into the town. So while you wait, those of you look at each other to discuss the matter at hand, we now need to determine who you are. You see each other, what do you look like? So I want introductions right now, what you look like, who you are, what you're good at, and then we can talk about the background of why you're here. Should I start? Go for it. I am Chinbelly, a young, short, and round goblin with a generous beard that is completely made out of flesh. I am completely hairless. I am currently wearing a very rotten wig. And I I'm haunted by a mysterious odor. I have a uh, yes. pet rat that's uh, hidden inside my wonderful house. And please refer me to as Trade Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but please do not look in the coffers, see how much coin I have. Thank you. Uh, Where did uh, we meet? Where did we meet? Probably in the capital. Because you were super. Where's the capital? Here. Green's Edge? Valar. The capital of Greenswald is Heart's Rest. What about Valar? Uh, pointing out. I'm not seeing it. Like on the right. The big point it out. Port. These are fucking arrows you got, man. Oh, this. Wow. Yeah, that is really far away. I meant to keep where you be from, but that's not the capital of this land. Let's just say we met in Heart's Rest. Heart's Rest is the capital of this land. A uh, Greenwald. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, so Valar is the capital of Orwald. Yes, or? Um, I think Valar is actually the land, the island. I think it's called Valar. Yeah, but like, as you can see on the map, the entire island is made of a city. Yeah, so I think Valar is the city itself. Or is, the island is called Valar. You have Southport as well as Eastport. So Valar its own thing. We'll discuss what it is later on, but right now Valar how is its far, own thing. How far are, are these? Uh, what's the, like the scale on this map? Uh, the scale on this map, I'm going to say from Nevenin to Rollcrest is about three days of travel. Okay. 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 So about maybe 120, 100 ish miles. <clears throat> so we met in uh, Heart's Rest. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. 
I guess it um, makes sense. We have a wagon. Do you? As of now, I guess we do. Well, you said we're in a line of wagons. Because we have to have one. Just means you're waiting. They're making people line up. Oh. But why not? I'm going to give you a wagon. You've got an old wagon that is, well, something you maybe acquired on the road. Maybe you earned this. Maybe you bought it somewhere. But it is a very, very old, very rickety, and not so stable constructed wagon. Excuse me. I invested every single cent into this wagon so I could roam around the world selling wonderful fur. Lawrence here decided to tag along. That's did not, not steal it. Do not even attempt to pin that on me. That's not how that went. <laughs> it's a wagon of furs. But you know what? Let's go with it. I'm not going to argue with you. And, and like you're a little bit crazy anyway, so. <clears throat> but uh, that's that's not how that went down. Uh, I think that we might have met Konsai in Rollcrest, and then uh, Lazarus was a a, a poor priest. <laughs> Well, I guess the reason why you might, might have picked me up is because I know things about the law, so I guess I would know a lot about, or some of, about uh, trading regulations and such. So maybe, so maybe when we were trying to get to Rollcrest, we had our load confiscated, and we were gonna get thrown in jail, but you bailed us out. We still lost the load, but at least we're free. Entire months of worth of her lost. Yes. Just because of some. Because sort of because of some regulation bullshit. How dare they discriminate him against my fur? Maybe they don't like fat goblins. To hell with them. Well, you well you see the reason they confiscated the goods is because we purchased them from. Uh, an individual who claimed that they were illegally obtained, but turns out... I don't think you're making the point you're trying to make here. Turns out, a few days previous to our arrival at Rollcrest, a, a certain merchant has left Rollcrest with the exact same amount of furs, of the exact same type, and has been found robbed <laughs> by the side of the road. Hmm. Hmm. Now, us s smelling a great deal, a bargain, we didn't think twice about it, we bought the furs, and we're just a little bit unlucky about where we went with them. Now, I'm going to interrupt a little bit right here. So this is actually fantastic build up. So what's the reason you all decided to go ahead and gather these furs? Well, as I mentioned, all you are commoners. Now, we only have one actual merchant here, but for the most part, all of you have been in poor wealth. You have dreamed of the old heroes, the old people, the old royalty, or the current royalty. The people that can go into an inn, get as many women as they want in the inn, as well as have the most lavish rooms. Well, you want that. You want that desire. You want to be able to have a bit of wealth, because right now... Most of you have no damn wealth at all. You're poor. You're living by as much as you can. Sometimes you have to steal food. Sometimes you have to acquire essentially food meant for animals to survive. And so you've decided to now, well, perhaps see if you can start a bit of a trade. And so with this wagon, you now have the opportunity or you expect to have the opportunity to try your first Applied to the trade of being merchants and being a group of merchants. Now, back to you. Continue. Now, all we have left is what? What is? What do we have left? Two rabbits. Uh, do we have rabbits? What? I have two rabbits. Oh. I have some stale bread in the sack. <laughs> I have some black and white ink. Uh, but 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 you see, we also have a little bit of textiles. Do we? Because well, they they were ours. They weren't the ones stolen from the merchant. Because those were the ones that Chinbelly has acquired. Because you see, as an 
the benefits of a merchant start is that we daily gain money from trade. Oh, yeah. So I believe we need to roll that now. How much is that? I think it was 2d6 bits starting off, if I'm correct. So do we all roll it or? Nope, just you. You're the merchant. All right. I chin belly claim this role. Well, I'm also a merchant, but well, it, it's not. It will. I'll have each person roll it differently, but essentially, it's because of the role you guys picked for the group. So that role is what gets you uh, that income. So, you have. And I'm gonna put this in the party sheet. Uh, I'm gonna put the inventory. I'm gonna put as bits, and that is seven bits. Where's the where, where's where's that uh, screen cap anyway? Where do you find the parties at? Top yeah, right. Go ahead and link it again, please, Mike. I I don't... Well, I have to find it first. But I'm, I'm looking. Scrolling up to... As I can't remember what book it was in. Oh, no, book it was, it was in the... Um, I don't know which book it was in. Give me a second. It was in... I got Demo it. Companion number two. I got it. Group themes. Posted? No. Your group gathers a pool of coins at the start of each adventure. You have 3d6 coins, which are copper when you are novice characters, silver when you are expert characters, and gold when you are master characters. All right, someone roll my d6. You guys go ahead. Lawrence, I give you the honor. All right, so with that, that is 11 copper. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that right now. So both of you have, well, all three of you, I'm not gonna give it a demo because demo's not here, so fuck them. So right now you have three <laughs> copper each. This was essentially found within the wagon when you acquired the wagon, whichever means you did. We acquired it honorably on the side of the road. Fantastic. All right. Does so, does this mean every session or just like every session? Okay. I'm gonna say, well, I mean, start start of every adventure, so it could mean every time you go out from town, do something. So we'll see which we want to go with. We'll see how long my adventures, because my adventures tend to be a little bit different with the amount of roleplay you guys can do. Um, um, so I have a suggestion. We shoot. can accumulate it depending on how long we get. Say, say we purchase goods here and try to trade them somewhere else. Depending on how long we take to get there, every session we make these rolls or accumulate these rolls. We don't get the money outright, but once we arrive, we trade it. And then whatever we rolled is a bonus to what we traded from the capital that we missed. Yeah, book of like that. All right, as it is, you are getting closer to the this line. You see the town guard. They're looking very, very bored as they're asking talk to people you can't quite hear what they're saying right now but you see the people on the road the people in front of you the people behind you they're getting more agitated they're getting more angry a little more pissed off because you have to wait here ah oh, god damn oh, we gotta freaking wait for these stupid ass guards ah oh, these guys hurry up i want to go to this damn man already and you hear kind of a disgruntled attitude come up and in fact, at one point, you see as someone goes, ah, oh, screw this, I'm going to go inside myself. And you see a horse with a man on top, kind of a well-built man. Um, he's wearing kind of fine silk. He's got a dagger at his side. And he essentially cuts everyone and goes to the front of the line. All right. And? He yells at the guard, What's the reason for this holdup? Just let us go in right now. And he watches the guards. Now, you're a bit too far away to kind of hear anything that's said by the guards, but you can hear the man because he's kind of yelling at these guards. And you see the man just kind of pointing at the open gateway into Nevernin. And then he actually starts to move forward. And as he does, you watch as three of the guardsmen, lower crossbows aimed at his chest. And he just kind of stops, holds up his arms, and moves to the back of the line. And he's moving back, he is just cursing nonstop. 
Well, he's if he passes us, I'm laughing my ass off at him. The most grotesque voice imaginable. He turns his head at you, Tin Belly, and he goes, "And what? A small goblin, a little ugly thing here." I am far from small, mind you. <laughs> now get back in line. You're lucky the guards didn't shoot you today. You're about an inch away from me shooting you in the chest, you little filthy beast. I got two guardsmen on my side. You can't do anything. What? Lazarus, Lawrence, what are you doing as Chimbelly is now going off with this? Uh... I want to retrieve my staff and just smack the horse. In the, in the ass? Like, what? Yeah, just like to get it going, you know? <laughs> oh, is that his horse? Out of the way. Yeah, his horse. Okay. Uh, you slap his horse. He's like, oh, son of a bitch. And it just kind of goes on. And you see that he's a bit pissed off, but he doesn't really want to do anything with this. And so he does go back to where he was before. With a bit of another uh, argument between the people that were essentially on the other side of him, he tries to get back in line. And so you kind of hear a bit of argument behind that. But you do wait another hour as time passes before you get to, well, your spot at the gate. Now, I don't believe we actually had an introduction from Lawrence yet. Or not Lawrence. Um, Lazarus. From Lazarus. From me? Well, me neither. Uh, All right, so let's, let's finish it now. Let's go finish it now. And there's really not much to say, you know, I'm a middle-aged man, rather tall, human. I look great. Uh, and you're a of a faithful person, religious dude, uh, if I can find it. Are you a priest, or are you, like, just, you know... I'm going to for a wandering priest again. A wandering priest? I'm not sure a specific word for <clears throat> Whatever are you talking about? I don't think there is one. Episcopus Vagans. What? It's uh, Latin, apparently. It's just a name. Anyways, that's what Lazarus is. What about you, uh, Lawrence? Um, I'm just... A man that has tried to leave his previous life, or, well, previous, it's still the same life, but it wasn't great, so I too am trying to make money through trade. Switching careers, eh? I mean, I, I figured I'm, I'm a little bit good at hunting, at uh, living out in the wild, so traveling is kind of natural to me. Uh, and merchanting, it does a lot of traveling. And I'm good at navigating, so that it just, it all lines up. And I'll pick up the rest of it later, you know, like figure out how to buy things and sell things. All right. As you do a bit of small talk, you get to, as I mentioned, the guards. And the guards, they look at you, Lawrence. Chimbelly, they kind of give you a bit of a glance. And you see as his eyes kind of widen as he sees your... Your beard. Your, your skin beard, as it is. And he has a bit of a look of disgust that kind of crosses his face before he turns towards you, um, Lawrence. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not letting that eye con- I, I, I tip my hat and give him a big old grin before he leaves my sight. He just turns his head. Also, also I want to, like, clarify something. You say that Chin Belly is... Uh, has a beard? Yes, can you, can, you can see it on the picture right there. Mike, it's a mound of flesh. Oh, a flesh mound. Okay. It's the it's ultimate not... um, double, chin. double chin, yeah. Yes. All right, so it's not a beard, it's just a double chin. That, that is a beard, my friend. Okay, all right. That I mean, is a beard, oh, Actually, you know what, you're right. It is a beard. Because for some reason, Chin Belly has always been hairless completely. And so, wanting to get a beard, he decided to uh, use his skin whenever he got fat, because that's what happened. Anyways, All right. well, the guard turns you. turns his head, looks at you, um, Lawrence. Now, there's about six guardmen here. 
that are just watching. They look a bit bored, as I mentioned. They got long swords at the side as well as crossbows. Start your business coming into Nemedin. Traveling merchants passing through. What's the what's going on? Uh, nothing you need to worry about. Where are you coming from? Uh, roller crest currently. Roll Have crest. you been around the city of Whetstone or Samarol in the last couple of days? Mm, not that I know of. That's a solid no for me. He looks like you, Lazarus. Yeah, no, we haven't been in that area at all over the past few weeks. Coming from the other direction, in fact. Heart's rest. Mm. What's in the wagon? Uh, well, cloth, textiles, two rabbits, and whatever we need to get through the road. He does a head nod to one of the guardmen at his side, and you see the guardman starts to move forward, and he's going to literally inspect. You see his intentions. He's going to inspect the wagon. Okay, so then he goes to the wagon, he starts going through some things, he kind of lifts up some of the covering, you see the furs, stuff you mentioned. He looks back at the captain and he goes, Yeah, it's clear, nothing here. All right. What are you looking for? Uh, we're looking for individuals that came from Whetstone or Samarill. Bit of a uh, watch put out by our own captain. Not quite sure what the meaning of it is, but. He was hell-bent on making sure that we stop any individuals are from those two cities. Holy shit. Look at that. Hey. Got a guest. You know you're an idiot, right? No. What time is it, though? It's, uh... 7 p.m. Ah, uh, yes, it's 8 p.m., actually. Hmm. We said our time, demo, not your time. God your, damn you. Your time sucks. Ugh. Our time is inferior to GMT. It's okay, we just started. We just had some character introductions. You can, you, you can still jump on the wagon as well. Honestly, spot in the wagon right now, as a cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A straight cat we picked up. Yeah, I mean, it'll make sense. All right, he goes, All right, go inside. Don't make no trouble. It, and it, he could just wait for the three of you to uh, enter. I guess we enter then. We enter. Wait, do we have a horse for the wagon? Or do we well, just care? I mean, it makes sense to have a horse for the wagon. Oh, okay, how is the horse looking like? Is it scrawny as hell? Um, Sickly? You do not have a horse for the wagon. <laughs> this is a pulled cart. Who's <laughs> pulling it? Well, Lawrence, go ahead. <laughs> Lawrence is the workhorse here. Let's go. All right, Lawrence, you've been pulling the uh, this wagon. Now, I mean, it's not a big <laughs> wagon. It only has like, two wheels, so. <laughs> and sometimes you pull it, sometimes you push it, sometimes you do a bit of harness to your waist and just kind of tow it along. Fantastic. Now, right, you... You went to into the city of Nevernin. Demo, passwords uh, 789. I was about to say. <laughs> You're not allowed to dead to the game. You it's missed your chance. Fuck. It's a fucking VIP access. All right, so you had turned to the vicinity of the town of Nevernin. Mentioned a couple thousand people in this town. Now, with it, you are seeing that the mood is joyous. The mood is people going about their daily business. You can hear the hawking of wares by merchants in the mercantile quarter. You can see the individuals of renowned status, the nobles that walk around with um, people trailing them as they go about their daily business. You see the craftsmen. You can hear the plinking of the blacksmith making arms, weapons, items, um, tools for the trade. You see tanners. You can see essentially a city in the midst of, well, doing what a city does, of just going about everyday activity. Now, the question is to the four of you now is where do you want to head starting off? Uh, stables, of course. 
Well, no. No, no, wait, wait, we don't have a horse, I forgot. Lawrence, don't I'm stapling you. I have a question. What period of year is it? We are going to put this, actually, I'm about to do the calendar, so let's go do this right now. This is actually going to be relevant for the game. So, let's go and do this. Let's open a calendar. Let's put in... Let's do the Forbidden Lands calendar. Why not? Is this all recorded? Yes. Good, because I wanted to know what the interaction, interactions were at the beginning. Long mm. story short, we met at Heart's Rest. You know, to, to be honest, because my character's personality is aloof, it makes sense that I haven't introduced myself yet. In a way. You're probably in your cat form and haven't even said anything yet. What a parasite. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know, you, we don't even know that you're a human being. Yeah, I'm I just mean, a, a fairy. I'm, I'm just a kitty cat on the wagon that's being pulled by someone. I'm, <laughs> the only reason we picked her up is because I want her fur later on. Whoa! I mean, <laughs> that also <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Every time, every time you try to approach me, Alan, I just fucking hiss at you. He also smells really bad. <laughs> <That'll>... <laughs> there's a mysterious odor around him. Actually, it doesn't mean bad, it just means... Mysterious. Mysterious. It's like mold. Like, you can't you quite can't put, put your where... finger on. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to know what kind of cheese that is. Can you roll a d d20 and like see if it's a positive or a negative odor? First, can we do that? Sure. I mean, a neutral or negative. There's, I don't think it would be a positive one. Uh, it, it's neutral-ish. It's just, it's just kind of like off-putting, you know? It's just musky, you know? It's it's like you get a smell and you can't quite tell if it's good or bad. Sometimes it goes <laughs> yes. to both areas. The kind of the kind of annoying one where you just smell it and you're like, "Do I enjoy this or not?" It's like a truffle. Because you're not quite sure if you're gonna like it or not. But uh, so the question is, you have your wares, you have this cart full of furs. Where do you want to go? And what time is it? Yeah, uh, put it's it. 10 a.m. No, no, but like. You see the year? Spring. It's in chat. Spring, oh, October, uh, so it is essentially in spring. Okay. You're in full on spring right now. Are you Are you saying that we have, um, do do we, uh, do, what do we have on the wagon then in the in the at the end? So right now you have just what you said. You have the furs. Um, you have the items. So you have everything that's on your character. Now what you have in the wagon is what was acquired on the side of the road, which is the wagon as well as the furs. So you have I'm gonna say about twelve furs. And a cat. Okay. Twelve for twelve. Well, and a we half. should we should go sell it then. Mm, do we really want to sell fur here though? Yes, because it is spring. They're going to be worthless soon because you want furs in autumn for winter. We need to get rid of these as soon as we can. Yeah, so you're getting towards the end of spring. Care. So you're getting towards the end of spring. So it would be a good time to leave them now. North to uh, above some more. Some, some well, that's true. Yes. Um, obviously, the north, of more, the more northern you go, the cold is going to be. So it might get a better price up there. So down here, people might be expecting a bit of a cheaper price than normal. So it's up to you how to deal with this. But as it is, you're in this town right now. So you have a couple options you can do. You can go to the local tavern. You can go to the market stalls and try to offload these wares as you want, or anything you might think would be reasonable. So again, what do you want to do? Let me just resonate here. Um, Redstone looks like it's in the cold climate, in the mountains. We might get some good prices for food. I don't think we should go there. Yeah, they did mention something was going on there. Also in Samur Samuro. And Samuro. I don't think we should go to neither of those places. <laughs> so the north might be cut off. for people from there, so we should be fine. No, but we don't know what. Maybe we could get some information in the tavern then. Yeah, we can. But even then, we have these furs. I had more thought about, because it's summer, we should, I mean, it's it's spring. I feel like, what kind of goods are good in spring? Ice cream. Did someone hear that? 
I feel it because, like, if it was autumn or fall or harvest season, we could get a lot of good cheap wheat and then ferry it down south to the desert because that's probably where food is less um, that abundant. That is so far away. Well, you got to start our adventure somehow. No money. And once we get there, we could Jesus. we could get spices and bring them up here. That is completely true. I will listen to our merchant on this. You should know. Arkin, it has some pretty good spices. Um, it's a port town as well, so the Republican... We could also try uh, and So get... I want to do some, uh, some knowledge rolls real quick, and this is going to be for you, Tin Belly. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to actually see how well you expect to leave these furs or to remove these furs from your possession. So we're going to do a skill roll, and because you are a the mercantile background, go ahead and give me this with uh, two boons. Okay, now is the question. How do I do this? All right, character sheet. Your character sheet. Change your boons to two, which it is. Now click the star for two boons. All right, so you can you take one dice, which is the highest one, which is the four. Now roll a d20. Um, like a straight up? Yeah. Just straight roll. The, yeah, there's no skills, so. Yep, your skills are your such your profession. So remember, in this game, all you want to get is the number 10. You get 10, you succeed. Now, if you get a 20, you get essentially a critical hit, you would say, and so you might get more information based off of it. So here's the bit of information I'm going to give to you. We got these first. Now, obviously, as I mentioned, if you go more into a chloral climate, you'd be able to offload it for a much expensive price. Right now, we're at the end of spring for the temperate lands, which is where Nevin is. If you go more south, you're going to just get nothing for them. Right now, you might get the lesser value of what they would normally be worth because we are getting towards summer. And so if you want to get rid of them, you want to do them now. In fact, as you are discussing this, and you can, you're can, you probably next to the, the market square of Nevenin, and you can see the bit of trade that people are doing. Anywhere from livestock to items to some weapons um, to some armor – some textile, and you see a other individual who has furs. He's got him on a rack, and he's currently trying to offload his amount of furs. And you see that he has about 15 of them. And anywhere from wolf pelts to a couple bear pelts and other small and miscellaneous animals. And you see that there is a bit of people that do go buy his stall, and some go ahead and buy them. Some don't. You see he's haggled with a bit of people. And so you see that he's the only one Right now, that's selling furs here. Let's set up shop completely opposite of where he is in the town. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is selling. You are right, Lawrence. I mean, we could get a better price if we went north, but... That is true. If or if you north, sold them in the beginning of spring, um, or in the midst of winter, you would get a much better price. So right now... As more time goes along, they're going to be decreasing in value. How long is the travel to Whetstone? I wouldn't go there. I'd go to Samuro. Uh, about to Whetstone, about three days. To Samuro, probably about four. If the okay, road so is good. Dolmar, probably like two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, about a week and a half. But it is, it is winter up there, and so, or it's cold climate up there, so going through that terrain might be a bit harder, so it could be about two weeks. What about um, to Roachers Cove? Um, probably about the same thing. You have to go through a bit of terrain. But it does go through Rollcrest. It wouldn't have made sense for us to travel here from Hearts Rest. That is true. I'm still awfully, um... So you acquired, so essentially, the best, the best way to put this, you just acquired this wagon coming from Rollcrest. The thing is... What's going on in Whetstone, and then maybe try to sell our first there. Yeah, yeah something let's else. go to the inn and try to dig up some things for it. Alright, so where are you parking this wagon? Lazarus? Uh... How I'll stay with the wagon, I guess. Guard it with uh, your life. Because I'm not going to go to the inn. Why not? I'm not a drinker. 
Okay, well, we're not going there to drink. We're going there to get information. I'm gonna place my rat in the wagon and tell him to. Uh, well, someone needs to look off of the wagon, so I guess I'm gonna do that for now. All right, so Lazarus, you're gonna watch the wagon essentially. Yes. What is to get okay. you anything? Uh, I don't need anything. I'm good. Put it like food-wise, maybe. Food-wise. I mean, if you're going to stock up on supplies, I don't know if you're expecting a longer journey or not. Well, that's right that now, depends I'm upon enough to sustain myself. Okay. It's just uh, me and the goblin walk into the tavern. <laughs> All right. Now, what about you, uh, Peril? Uh, did Alan, did uh, Chinbelly leave the rat behind? I did leave my rat behind. I'm gonna eat it. Chase it around, <laughs> bite into it. Like once he, once he, once he, I see him leave <laughs> with another human. I see the rat moving a little about. I, I can't help it. I gotta fucking pounce on it. I'll do nothing to save the rat's life. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my concern. Alan, what was the rat? What was your brother's name? <laughs> All right, um, Peril, I'm giving you a bit of corruption, so. Corruption? Yeah. All right. What? That was his brother? But... <laughs> yeah, if I'm not correct, you, but that was your brother. Okay. But it's, it's, it's... In fact, I'm giving you both corruption. <laughs> I was unaware what is happening. <laughs> Jesus. You made I, a note of this thing being, um, I went, I your family. I was raised by so. rats. Wait, but why do I get corruption? It's a natural instinct in a cat to chase like a mouse. But you're not a normal cat. I guess I'm not. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Feast. You performed murder. I'm trying to save, save myself here. <laughs> I just do what cats do. So, so, so I can't let that happen. But wouldn't that sort of tie into just, you know, the circle of life thing that I've got going on? I mean, that is what's happening. I mean, technically, but at the same time, this is your friend's pet rat, or, or your acquaintance's pet rat. And on top of that, you're not an actual cat. Um, we, we don't know that he's not an actual cat. Have you oh, never oh, revealed yeah. yourself, Pearl? No. Not, not yet. Okay. Well, you're still getting crushed because you're still intelligent, so... You would know that... But, 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 uh, mm. but... But, Once but I, I might want to stop it now. But I wasn't, well, like, I'm not affiliated with the group yet, so it won't yeah. like, matter to me. I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. If I killed the rat or not. Go ahead and move your um, corruption, Peril. Alright. Back to zero. But now, Chimbilla, you always say your rat was with Thee, right? Or would you have left yeah, it in the uh, the car, the wagon? Specifically made it le specifically left it behind. Okay. To, to guard the fur. Al Alan, you seem to be taking this quite poorly. I expected him to get eaten. <laughs> For you see, he has in front of all the rats. More he has, will come. He has plenty of problems. <laughs> he just can't Jesus tell which one's which. Oh God. Okay, that's how it is. All right, so with you there, Lazarus. Wait, no rules to attack the fucking rat. Maybe the rat's a hero and survives. No, it's dead. It's a rat. Oh my god. <laughs> the rat pulls out a great sword and then just smites <laughs> the evil creature. The rat, the rat is rat dead. Turns into a human. Okay, the rat is dead. Rat, rat is dead. I have the rat in my mouth, and I'll just put it back onto the wagon and start eating it. Okay, so Lazarus, you watch this. You watch it as a straight cat. You have no idea who it is or what it is. Just it's a cat. And it is currently munching on the pet rat that uh, Chin Belly always carried around with them. Uh, I'm going to try and shoot it away. Cause that's kind of nasty. I'll hiss as his hand approaches me. And I'll take the, the rat and, you know, move a little... A little further away, but still on the wagon. Alright. You're on the other side of the wagon, much in, and that is now getting on the furs. <laughs> you told me to move! So I did. Can I, like, pull on the upper fur to, like, just get her off there? 
Sure, absolutely. Um, Chasing the cat over this Gotham wagon. All right, so we're gonna see how well you can actually get this cat. So, Peril, I want you to go ahead at a boon. Give me a agility roll. And same with you, Lazarus. Give me a agility roll too, please. Agility rolls. Jesus. Be, uh, boon one, right? Well, yes. It's just like a d20. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never mind. And d20. You don't need to even roll because you. Wow. Okay. Well, still. So right when you try to go for Peril, Lazarus. Nice Peril just, it's a cat, it just gets away. Now, Peril, where are you going as Lazarus is trying to essentially grab you? Uh, well, if he's going back towards the the uh, the carriage, I'll just go back to the front and keep the rat in the mouth. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, if he goes back, I go front. If he goes front, I go back. <laughs> like a little chase. With Why the did rat. the cat roll a natural one? I, I don't... Because the Lazarus rolled a four! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. How can I just how... splash it with some water from my water skin? How quickly can I decompose the rat? Because this, this cat is getting... Don't, you nose. consume the rat, don't decompose the rat. Alright, that would be essentially... I'm gonna count this as a throwing roll, essentially, Lazarus. So mm. this would be your strength. Strength roll. My strength. How do I actually roll just... Uh, the skills themselves well there's no skills you just roll a d20 now with the skill i mean with the attribute you're gonna roll on next to it where it says uh just what you did with uh, actually okay so look at character sheet go to attribute where it says strength at the right of strength where it says 10 then zero because the modifier is zero double click on that where it says zero yeah that, that's the attribute oh. okay. i just can't believe it <laughs> Yeah, it's... I roll agility? I'll just, no. I'll just give up. Man. This uh, this will be an attack roll to hit you. So, and it will be against your actual agility peril. So, no. He goes and he tries to squirt some of the water from his water skin at you. And you kind of just move out of the way. Yeah. Alright. I, I, like I do like a little cat laugh. Like... <laughs> what does a cat laugh? It's like a little, you know. It makes you feel that way. All right, so Lazarus, you think it's a demonic cat. We're now changing scenes to Tim Belly and Lawrence as you two go to the local tavern known as the Organic Pig. What a wonderful name. I love pigs. They're glorious. <laughs> well, that, that's probably what they eat here most. So, you go to the, the pig tavern, you two. As you go inside, you see that it is currently filled with a motley crew of people. Now, they seem to be individuals that are in, well, the standard affair of their life. Essentially, people that work at a tavern, work at a... That's not the word I want to use. They're commoners, essentially. You're not, seeing, you're not seeing any adventure type people in this place right now. Just commoners. But there is a bit of busy activity. You see the couple of wenches going about serving drinks. You see the bartender behind the bar. He's a grizzled old dwarf. And he's just giving drinks and filling taps and keeping the place up and running. And so there are a couple of tables that you can seat yourselves with if you want. As well as go around and see if you can acquire some information. Is there is, is there available spot at like the um, the, the bar itself? Absolutely. Right, can I have a conversation? Okay, I'm sitting. I'm wandering over to the bar. Yeah, give me a second. He goes to the other side of the bar. He taps, gets himself a, a mug, a pint, fills it up, and he rests it in front of you, Chin Belly, and he motions for you to copper. Slam two copper down on the. He lets the tanker go and lets me have it. Now, wait, 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 wait. I chug it down, all of it. One gulp. I slam that down and I, and I say. Go and give me a strength roll at um, one bane. So, one bane? Mm hmm. Roll that. Oof. Oof. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right. Just barely. You down this drink, and he seems a bit—he's a bit off put by it, but he also seems a bit impressed. And he goes, 
All right, what do you want? Even your worst is wonderful, my friend. What is your name? Ah, uh, my name is Thornin. Thornin. Tell me, Thornin, what news do you have from Whetstone? Not much. I've got a brother up there. Haven't heard from him in some time, but, well, I always wanted his wife for myself, and he found out, so he don't quite talk to me as much anymore. But, haven't heard anything, uh, interesting at all, if you're asking. I mean, they had a bit of adventurers. Some, some type of ploy went down the city about a month ago. What's, what's this business with uh, guards holding up everybody on the gates? Asking Honestly, people from Whetstone. couldn't tell you. It only started today. But uh, I imagine later tonight when some of the guards come in for drink, I'll play over here some things. But right now, I got no damn idea. Uh, you got rooms? Yeah, I got rooms here. You hear another individual on the side of the bar go, I, I came from Whetstone just two days ago. What a hell of a ride. What news do you bring? Ah, how about you come here and buy me a drink and I'll let you know. <laughs> I nudge Lord like, come on, give me two copper. <laughs> give him two copper. Where's <laughs> <laughs> all of our money? <laughs> all of our money is going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him two copper. Oh, thank you. Here you go, there's another one. He hands it to you, um... Right. Let's well, not suit that worst one you have. Let's do a little bit average this time. <laughs> you know, an average one this time. That's going to be uh, three copper. Can I hand him two? <laughs> All right, here's a bad one. Thanks. <laughs> but keep it down. I want him to know he's getting the average one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey. some big brain shit. <laughs> Give me one second. I want to check some real quick. <laughs> You know, I thought we picked cunning merchants, not wasteful merchants. No, he's being cunning. He's saving one copper. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm actually change it. I'm going to change that price. Um, I'm going to make that uh, bit in price. Yes, thank God. It's cheating. We are, re we are rich again. Gotta Give me back my copper. <laughs> no. I take oh. the copper back. Oh, no. So, just <laughs> pretend that was a uh, bit instead of uh, copper. Shin Billy, like, stretches his hand after the copper after you grow. <laughs> My money. It wasn't yours. Okay. Yeah, so, in total, it would have been uh, two bits for the first drink, and then if you want to get the decent one, three bits for the second one. No, 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 no. Uh, can I, I want to retcon this. I want to say, give me the best the best you have, and I slip him two bits. Give it the worst. doesn't say anything. I do convince him otherwise. All right, the best one I got here is going to be uh, actually six bits. I hand him two. Can I, like, can I, like, stealth hand him it so, he doesn't, so the guy I'm ordering for doesn't see, like, uh, how much I'm handing over? Go for it. Go ahead and give me an agility roll with, um... Well, I'm gonna go and uh, he actually he's drunk. Give me a jolly with one uh, boon. Now, here's one thing, guys. Remember, when I am telling you rolls to do, if you have a ancestry or if you have a background that would help out, let me know, and I'll and I'll try to give you more boons. But with that, um, Chimbelli, you order the best drink, but you give the amount of coin. And you see the dwarf, you see Thorne, and kind of see what you're doing. He goes, "Yeah, he's drunk enough, anyways," and he gives you the bad drink. I pick it up, I jump down from the chair and waddle over. Oh, I see I can make a new friend already. Tell me, uh, dude, what the hell kind of beard you got on you? What the? He starts poking your beard. They call me Chin Belly. Majestic, isn't it? <laughs> ah, that is disgusting. Ah, yeah, you can be my friend here. Fantastic. So, my, my friend, oh, what do you want to know about, um, Whetstone? I, I just came from there. Tell me, how was the weather up there? Cold! Always cold. Ah, those damn springs. 
can't come soon enough. It's a little bit easier in the springtime. Summertime is still cold. Wintertime, oh man, you ever had piss freeze as you're pissing? That is not fun. <laughs> Every day, sir. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Is this a dwarf, a human? He's a very, very skinny human, and he is actually very, very lanky, almost emaciated. He's got a bit of, um, his hair is kind of like coppery color, and he's just pockmarked all over his face. What marks? He's pockmarked. Like he had uh, pit bulls that scarred him. A, 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 a plague survivor, then? Not necessarily. Just could have been acne. Could have been plague. You can ask him. Find out. I'm, um, I'm going to take the opposite seat of you know, keep my distance. Tin Belly might be ugly, but he doesn't want the plague. Well, no, but he probably had it when he was a kid. Like, you know, chicken pox. Yeah, he wouldn't have it right now. He probably had it as a kid. I know plague victims when I see one. I'm keeping my distance. <laughs> Ah, right, so what do you want to know? Ah, oh, oh, this is great. Oh, thank you for this trick. I needed another one. You got the good stuff. Ah, oh, you're you're the best. And he's gonna see if he can determine if it was the bad stuff. So let's see. He got no damn idea. He's like, he's all oh, this stuff is good. Ah, oh, oh, you're great. You're great. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is a life, just drinking like this. Oh, this, is, oh, this is awesome. So tell me, good sir. Do you know anything of the funny business the guards are doing looking for people from Whetstone? Yeah, I've been hearing about that. I don't know why. Nothing happened at Whetstone. I mean, we just had a new priest ordained and, uh, as I was leaving. I came here quite fast, two days journey. It usually takes three, but... I'm going to uh, leave the tavern but, and uh, find a guard. Old Shippa is pretty quick on his feet here. And yeah, last I'd known was that they were uh, getting some new priest ordained, and caused commotion with that news. Well, then. I'm gonna have to continue with the pleasantry uh, while Lawrence looks for a guard. Let's cut to him looking for one. I'm looking for a guard, and I would like to snitch. All right. So you see, obviously, guards walking around, and you see a couple that are just doing their rounds around the city, and he sees you coming, Lawrence, and he kind of turns towards you with, well, waiting what you're going to say. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um, when we were approaching the town, we were asked if we were from Whetstone or Samarol, but we're not. But it came to my attention that there's a patron in the tavern over there that has been in Whetstone just recently and came... Yesterday. Really? Well, what? I mean, anyone can lie about it, honestly. It's what we're looking for. Um, not quite sure what's going on in uh, Whetstone, but we we're told that if anyone is showing a bit of, uh, well, a possession that we need to, well, we need to reacquire it, as it were. A what? You're cut out there. We're looking for something. Oh, you're looking for something specific? Yes. Ah, oh, I see. So, anyone from Whetstone is fine. I'm not worried about that. It's just what they might be bringing. Is it something dangerous? Should we be worried? Honestly, I'm not sure. But uh, we are just told by our captain to look for this thing. Can't quite tell you what it was. We were told not to really let people know, but nothing dangerous, I can assure you. I mean, Nevin is still going to be fine. You can go about your business and not be worried. All right. I'm just trying to do my part here, but if everything is in order, then I'm happy. Oh, I appreciate the, uh, the lookout for the city. Yeah, my thanks. Anything, any, anything for the greater good? Absolutely. And uh, I go back to the tavern. All right. Lazarus. Peril. Yeah. You're dealing with this. Now, you go. Now, I want to know is where do you go with the cart as you're watching this, Lazarus? Are you going to the inn that has it on places? Are you going to the market? Are you just going on someplace, the side alleyway? Where are you going to park this cart, essentially? 
Well, it's mostly just staying with it where we left it, but I guess we can head over to the market because I've been I've been wanting to look at the uh, first sales going on and what else is on the market right now. Okay, so as you go into the market, now question is, do you want to leave your cart there? Where do you want? I mean, do you want to leave your cart unattended, or how do you want to do this? I'm gonna pull it along as much as it hurts me. All right. <laughs> so you pull a cart along, and you see a couple of people eye your cart, not like in a a bad sense, but kind of a curious sense of what you might have, what you might be selling. And the market is pretty busy right now. And as I mentioned, you can see the individual that's been selling furs. I mean, he's getting a little bit less of his wares. He's been selling some of the furs he has. His two bear pelts are still on display. They seem to be his most prized sell he's trying to trade right now. But you want to take your cart next to his? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, what the hell are you doing? I don't want a competition here. To get this shit out of here. I'm just here to look at the wares. Well, what do you want to know? There's profit to be made up north, so I just want to look at the prices that I'm getting here, or could be getting here. Oh, good luck selling them north. Why? What's what's with the north right now? Because he's eyeing your pelts. He's like, because <laughs> that seems to be a shoddy quality. Oh, what, you're the one that hunt and skin these things? I wouldn't know. I'm just selling them. I'll tell you what. Those look pretty shite. I'll give you um, two copper a piece for all the skins there. For all of them? Two a piece. Two a piece. <laughs> How many do we have again? How many pills do we have? You've got uh, 11 and another one that is a bit ruined by um, the guts from the rat. It's pretty <laughs> Kill him and take his pelts. <laughs> they have double the pelts. That's the big money. I mean, could I actually estimate what they're worth? The furs? I want you to go pelts. ahead and give me at two Bane a intellect roll. Oh, my worst stat. Thank you. You're welcome. Bane and then I roll. That's not so bad. Yeah, that is the worst. No, not that. No. Fucking Christ. There you go. Ooh. Well, oh you think and you're sure that two copper is a good price. <laughs> Can you He's trying to give you a good deal. Wait, He's your friend. You He's ask, your buddy. Wouldn't you want to ask him how much he sells pelts for? Like that's meta game. You can't do that. Can't, you can't do, that. do that. I mean, wouldn't you be smart enough to figure that out? To ask him how much he's. This is considered to me a good price. I don't think I would. So what do you say? Two copper each pelt. I see you got about a dozen there. I'll even take that uh, the dirty one. Um, has a bit of blood on it, for the same price. Two copper. And I mean, it sounds like a good price, but. These aren't really all mine, so I just can't really sell them right now. Well, I'll tell you what. Accidentally haggling. I'll tell you, right now, I am looking to get them. I'll acquire them right now. I won't give the same price afterwards, because I'm thinking about leaving the city in the next couple hours. So, either take it right now, or, well, you can sell your, your small scrap uh, on the side here. I'm telling you, I'll give you a good price. Peril. Hmm. Please roll an intelligence check to get, inform Lazarus he's being scammed. I'm begging you. <laughs> I need you the most. Are you even in the, on the card still? Yeah, I'm like hidden under the first. Now you hear all this going on, but the thing is, Peril, you don't know who you are, so if you want to reveal yourself, yeah, but, I mean, that's the way to do it. But she's a burglar. She's known to sell things that are ill-gotten and probably wouldn't know a thing or two about. Plus, I did feed Peril the rat, so I'm hoping she's on our side. He didn't really oh, yeah. feed it to her, then he just kind of ate yeah, it, or she ate it. Had, so I probably, like... But, but I, I heard, if I reveal myself here, how visible would I be if I reveal myself? Well, I'm you like, can still talk. Yeah, you can talk. Yeah, you talk. But, I mean, it's going to be curious how Lazarus interprets a talking cat, but... But, but if I'm hidden under first, would I be, like, transformed underneath the first, so they cover my... Well, I said, you can talk. Um, do you want to get out of cat form under the first? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, look like a human. You're gonna look like a human popping up under first. 
But, but I'm asking if the forest will cover me entirely, or will I still be seen underneath them? Um, I'm gonna say the furs, the way they lay down, you're gonna be seen. There's no actual like opening or a a vacuum in the area that you can transform without making any different of the covering, like the tarp over it. And so if you transform into human, it, it's gonna be known. How, and how many people are around? How many would see me? You're in the middle of a market stall, so no one's really oh, looking at the cart right now. You don't know how many look at the cart itself. Um, there are some people that are looking at the wares that um this individual and lazarus are talking about so well you're not quite sure but some people will probably notice uh you can still talk while in cat form yeah but he's a cat well that's assuming that you even roll the intelligence so why don't you do that first all right i want to transform out of cat form underneath the first and try to as much as possible, be covered by them, so I'm unseen for the longest time. Oh, so you're transforming yeah. where? Under Earth. D don't you want to figure out if you're smart enough to know you're getting scammed, though? Listen, I have a, I have other ideas. Okay. So can you do like a like a stealthy, like a as much as I can? I want to be unnoticed until the very last moment all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this a two bane wall of agility because you're kind of sneaking esque um we're trying to hide so two bane but she's a burglar she's good at sneaking okay and so i'll give you one boost so it's one bane also do my boons in the cat form apply when i transform back because i do have uh Two boons to hide and sneaking in the cat form, but does that apply if I transform back? No, because you're literally getting bigger. So. All right, all right, all right. I have a cloak. I have a cloak uh, in normal form that gives me plus two to hiding. Yeah, it can help here. You're literally making the thing bigger, so that's what we're looking at. See if you can contort yourself to not make yourself stand out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how many boons? Um, it is one bane. One bane, all right. Two banes, one canceled out, so. Ugh. And agility? Mm-hmm. Here goes nothing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you you really kind of contort your form as you, you do a slow transformation back into a human. And you stay in the parts of the... The crevices of the first where you don't actually make any kind of form or shape and so you actually transform back into human in a bit of a contorted shape but you're fully human and you don't expect anyone saw this well you have ears and shit right and a tail yeah. and um in my position now uh i'd like to uh, grab all the furs I can and run the fuck out. <laughs> it's twelve furs. Well, as, as much as I can hold in my arms for where I am right now, I want to hold as many as I can and run away from the cart toward like a back alley. All right, give me one second. And you continue some music. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> You all watch as immediately this humanoid shape rises quickly out of all of the furs, and this female grabs, I'm going to say about six furs under, three under each, both arm, and starts running like a mother down the, the way. And immediately the guy goes, oh, what the hell is that? And there's, you watch as, well, half your furs just get stolen. I'm gonna be staying there for a second, just frozen, and then just immediately chase after her. All right. And so you watch this happen. You're chasing after peril. At the same time, you watch as you hear mostly as a guy kind of goes, "Hey, wait, it's a thief! 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 Guards! We got a thief here!" And immediately you see as about a dozen guardsmen hearing this turn <laughs> and see this man yelling, pointing at peril as all of them start to rush in by the way towards them my hand here to specify which first did you steal 
Oh. Well, six, oh. six of them, the, apparently. Oh, yeah, but the ones on the cart you transformed in, or the ones from the stall that the guy was trying to scam us? The one I was transformed in. I was on your cart. So he, you're stealing our furs? Yeah. I mean, they're mine now, to be honest. Well, it's gonna be one dead cat soon. Alright, so you're running, so we're gonna do a bit of a, a slight chase. Here's what I'm gonna do as you're moving across the terrain. Um, we're gonna do a first initial roll to see how well we can catch up. So, I want to have Peril go ahead and give me a agility roll, please. Just a straight up agility roll? Mm hmm. And I want Lazarus because you did get kind of caught by surprise. I want one Bane agility roll also. Jesus <laughs> you can't. I just can't. You just can't win. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is this is just refusing to. All right. All right. You start rushing after this female Lazarus, but Peril is just vastly gaining distance on you very very quickly. I'll just let the guards take care of it. All right. In the direction where, where she ran off to. Okay. So you kind of stop a little bit. You watch as these 12 guardsmen are now running after Peril. Peril, where are you the hell are you running? Uh, I like to, since I'm a burglar and I've been living in the city for a while. Uh, no, you haven't. I, what do you mean I haven't? You came with us on the cart. I did? Yes. Yeah, you weren't here for that, but yeah. So this group actually came from, if you look at the map, I'm going to for you, Demo. Um, but they came from Rollcrest. Or actually, they came from, uh, was it Heartrest or Rollcrest? Heartrest. Yeah, they came from Heartrest. Heartrest. That's through where the cat would have, that's where the cat, cat would have fucking. And, and we're in Rollcrest right now. Is that no, it? we're in Nevenin right now. No, we're Nevenin. Ah, okay. So... All right, so due to the fact that I've been u I'm used to these chases, do it, being a burglar. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to go to an alley and like parkour up to like a balcony that's exposed or over like a like a, like a little fence, you know. Okay. You carrying six furs with you. I'm um, getting consideration. So I, I would I, say. I have, I have good leaping. I have a good leaping ability. Pretty sure due to being a cat, right? Are you going back to cat like form, or are you going into form. human no, form no, still? Like, not like in human form. I think I'd have good. Uh, no, you have climber. You have climber as a cat. You don't have it as a human. Yeah, human. you're a human. Uh, you're a human that turned to a cat. You don't have a cat tail as a human. Yeah, but I'm talking about boons, not about like actual talents. Well, no, you would as a cat, not as a human. You'll get but, boons like, for being a burglar, but you're not gonna get the cat talents. Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah, okay. Mean. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give you this. Um, you, I'm, I'm going to give you one boon for being, because I'm not going to give you many boons right now because you got still not even heroes yet. I'm going to give you one boon. So don't roll yet, because I'm telling you all what's happening. One boon for being a burglar, but one bane for holding the first, so a base roll. Agility. Okay. Both of her arms are being used for holding them. That's true. That sounds like a two bane situation. Doesn't for me. mean it's impossible. Also, also, does my cloak give me boons to hiding? Because I'm, I'm trying to effectively end the chase now. By hiding in like some dark spot. Mm, I'm going to give you... Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to reevaluate this. I'm going to give you one boon for being a burglar, two boon for the cloak. I'm going to give you two boon for each pile... Or one, two bane for each pile of the clothing. So, ultimately, two bane, three boon, one boon roll completely. Oh, that's fair. And agility, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Let's go. All right. So you think you get into a good hiding spot. You kind of wait there as the guards come around the corner. And, well, they see you. And they loose a crossbow at you. Wait, I just came by what? She's a thief, not a murderer. Wait. Uh, <laughs> can I um drop one uh one hand of fur and try to dodge it easier? It's a essentially a blunted bolt. So it's not meant to pierce you, but Jeez. it's gonna hurt like hell. Rubber bullets. <laughs> 
would I happen to know if a bunch of forest of holding would act as a shield? Um, you know what? I'm gonna give his roll. I'm gonna give you armor. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh, so it'll be defense. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna actually. I'll give him a bane. I'll do this. I'll give him a bane. Because I want to so, like, use it as like a little stuff. So it. demo, what's your next character gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just doing. I don't think you thought this through. Well, I have. I'm a cat. <laughs> I mean, how could you argue with that, honestly? Yeah. All right. Well, you know. So let me put you all on the cover checker because we're actually doing some stuff right now. We're just gonna have to throw her in prison and go our merry way then, I guess. All right, Peril, you get hit for essentially five damage. Ow. Um, yeah, it does stun you a bit as it strikes you. And you see the other ones go, oh, do some more. I lower, I lower, <laughs> I lower my health. Is it death kind no, of I did already. So don't don't lower your health. Keep your health as normal. I, it's okay. under wounds. So raise your health back up to what it should be. So your wounds already did for you. It's on the combat tracker. So uh, you get struck by one and some more cross bolts. In fact, I'm gonna roll for them. And we'll see how many have been chasing you. So um, I'm gonna roll for those people. There were a dozen. And so what was your initial um, sneak roll, which was seven? So. We're gonna see, I'm gonna see how many actually catch up to you. Actually, I'm not really yet, because I need to see actually how many catch up to you. So let's do this. So I'm gonna give them all, because they do know the city. So I'm gonna give them one Bane, one Boon. Now I'm gonna roll their agility. Okay, only one guy was able to catch up to you. So out of the 12, only one was, I guess, fit enough to actually keep up with you. So you hit by one guy. Now you're in the alley, and unfortunately, he did see you. And so the bolt does, and you did kind of blend it pretty well, but he saw you. So the bolt hits you, and you hear, it's just him right now. And there are, you hear the clicking, the running of other people. Is there a, a, a wall behind me I can climb over? Yeah, you're in the middle of an alley, so definitely places you can climb. Or is there like a balcony that I can like wall jump and jump onto it? Yeah, there'll be those kind of areas you could do. I want to wall jump onto the balcony and run into like a random household and like, you know, do some aerial chases. Okay, chasing. still, because you're holding two bundles, it's going to be two Bane. I want to drop one of them. Okay, so you one. drop one of them, so it'll be one Bane. Yeah. And then, bit of burglar, you get one boon, so it's gonna be a baseball agility. Okay. Don't fail me now. Natural 20! All right, so you keep one bundle under the arm, so three furs, and you jump, you start climbing very, very quickly, you get into a building, and you get away. <laughs> Let's go. Amazing. You hear the cursing of the guards as they grab the one bundle that you dropped, and they go, son of a bitch, more burglars here. <sighs> and they they leave. After a couple of minutes, you, Lazarus, see that the guards are walking towards you. And they do carry one bundle out of the two that was taken. And he doesn't walk towards you because he doesn't really know you were. But he does go to the other merchant. And he goes, all right, what happened here? And I imagine, Lazarus, you're back at your cart as this is going on. Uh, I'm definitely going back, yeah. Okay, so you're talking with the merchant there, and he goes, "Oh yeah, this this fine man right here was just the was just thieved upon by some lady here. Took two bottles of furs." The guard goes, uh, "We got one of them. Unfortunately, uh, she got away." And he hands the bundle of furs to you, Lazarus. Three of them. He goes, "I apologize for this. Usually, we try to crack down on thieves as best we can." Well, I'm sure you did the best you could. I did hit her with an arrow, but she's able to uh, survive it, unfortunately. Try to stun her. didn't work. Well, if you happen to find the other furs, I'd be grateful if you returned them. That's no, fine. we'll keep a lookout for anyone that might be uh, selling furs. I know this man here. Um, this merchant's name is... 
Shamar. Shamar here has been selling within the city for the last uh, 14 seasons, so we trust this man. Uh, what would you say is a price as a fair price for fur in this town? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, talk to Shamir here. Um, he would definitely know. But we need to get back on uh, duty. We're gonna look for this uh, this person. But good day to you. Good day, sir. And you watch as the guard leave. Hmm. All right, we're now jumping to Lawrence and Chinbelly. <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't know what you're laughing about, Demo? I've been robbed. <laughs> This isn't funny. Your character is actually like permed right now. I think it's hilarious how this all played out. <laughs> so I'm still having a casual conversation with the. Uh, here. Yeah. So essentially, what you're getting and what you all can discover is that there was a a new priest that was becoming to high position in the the city. So you have uh, Whetstone. I don't think that we can make a profit out of that information. Unless we mm. can get some cheap holy symbols here and sell them for expensive there. I don't know. Was he in Samuel? All right, so I don't, real quick, we're going to do a bit of a listening check. I want um, Lawrence and Chimbelli in the Dice Tower. Give me... Intellect rolls, please, or intelligence rolls. No boon? Uh, if you have a boon to help out you listening or eavesdropping, then yes. If not, then a base roll. I have the wilderness. Uh, no, no, Jim Bell, in the dice tower. There. So there should be a dice tower at the bottom right of the screen. Well, in there. I have a, a dice tower. Oh, there it is. It's literally a tower in the bottom right. Would uh, would wilderness outlander help with this? No, it would drag, drag the roll in there. Uh. I'm going to say yes. Like that? Yeah. So one boon. Do I roll the boon in the... No, we roll the boon in the open. The... So you still know what the boon is, but the one main roll you don't, won't know. So even if you have an idea what it could be. All right. So I'm going to say this... Fuck was that crow? Don't question it. It's from the song. It's like a very Nordic song. Okay. One second, continuing it. Selling six furs. Was that in Come on, Pearl. I was nice to you. I gave you that rat, and you steal from me. That's so Did he do it? Did he do it for any particular reason? Like he noticed something, or no? Just like he's just doing what he's doing. All right. Nothing unusual about it. Besides what I told you. Well, I'm, the first part. Well, I guess I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Okay. Just kind of what you get. I take a quick piss. You all determine how to do a demo since he's apparently being a PvP her hobo. No, I'm just doing what my character does. What do you mean? Well. Then I hope you agree. Like, I, I hope you have fun when your character plays to its character and gets thrown in prison. I mean, RP is RP. All right. You heard him there. P RP is RP. Kill him. Yeah, kill him. I am. Eve. I am uh, gonna try to come back though. Hold on a minute. Oh, I'd love to see you try. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Yes. Is indentured servitude legal? <laughs> um, in some places, yes. Here, no. Okay. What is legal? <laughs> what did you say? What? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Don't have to worry about it, though. What did you? Say? I didn't hear you, though. It's so it's all right. It's... You'll know when you know. <laughs> I am in danger? Oh, no, not at all, no, no. You may have been, but it's not legal, so. 
But what? I didn't hear it though. That's why we gotta go south. Is <laughs> that a GM whisper? Yes. Only I saw that. Yes. You're the chosen one. But I'm not the slaver here. Ah, it's about to I'm not Alright, my apologies because unfortunately you two do sound a bit similar to me. I see GM text over here. Yeah, Kansai and um, Alan sound a bit similar to me. Uh, whisper. I'll, I'll do. Jesus. Um, you can type it out and then drag that text to the dice tower. It'll give it to me. Dice tower, the one in the bottom right. The tower in the bottom right. Yep. I type it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Don't press enter. Click. Just drag click it. Yep, like that. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's magic. Oh, you haven't seen the languages yet. Languages are awesome. <laughs> I've seen one of them. Actually. You've seen the other language, yeah? Just one. All right. Uh, well. Is the conversation with this drunk guy still going on or something? I'll say you got all the information you would get from him. All right. Well, well, I'm gonna like uh, give give like a head sign thing to to Chin Belly that like. We should get out of here. I um, politely apologize for the disturbance and I leave. I mean, not the disturbance, what the fuck is it called? I give a polite, like, goodbye and leave. Alright. Hey, oh, thank you, friend, for what you did. I appreciate it. And thank you for the information. Have a pleasant day. <clears throat> oh, you too. <laughs> Same to you too, Thorin. As I tip my hat and show off my horrid wig and leave. I'm gonna... Hursk, because we kind of... We have... We as players have metagame knowledge. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna rule this. I'm gonna roll intellect rolls every now and then to see if I can clue myself in. And clear yourself in on what what's going on the events. Well, like what you what you've just hinted at and stuff like that. Okay, you really want to take anything out of the ordinary about it. I mean, people are just okay, gonna I'm be gonna having stuff a, like that. I'm gonna roll a two veins. I mean, I know metagame game knowledge, you know what's going on in this game, but right now you wouldn't take anything normal, uh, un normal about it. Yeah, I wouldn't yet. Like, apparently, would it be intellectual? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, intellectual. it's like when you think that it's gonna be. Just kind of deducing stuff. If 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 this comes up again, I'm gonna keep rolling again and again until I start figuring it out. All right, we we leave the tavern. All right, you leave the tavern. Um, essentially, all you get in is that, yeah, the guards are looking for something. Obviously, something big because they're looking for something specifically. And you get back to the the market square where uh, Lazarus is. Lazarus, you're talking with the merchant. The merchant's like, um, I'm, I'm sorry this happened to you. But, uh, well, honestly, you than me. But you have my condolences. And Lazarus, you see as Lawrence and Chimbelly are walking up towards you. I wave them over. Hey, why did you come here? Hey, uh, listen, I have good news and I have bad news. Oh, God. The bad news is we just got robbed, so I lost some of our doors. We got what? robbed in broad daylight. I know. I know. You had one job. But it's not my fault. It just happened just all of a sudden. I, I angrily throw my hat on the ground and stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're only down three furs. I've counted. I, I three? Think. Yeah. How much is that? That is like two bits. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> what? Would we know how much furs cost? I we would know. Shinbelly is a merchant. Yeah. 
Just joking. Like 50 bits? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, you just... I think you accidentally did something. You, you accidentally the chat. Not accidentally. Oh, I see. He, he, he sent he sent the he sent the message to the wrong person again. So 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 he panic cleaned the chat. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was a panic oh, clean. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, nothing of value was lost anyway. All right. So how are you three dealing with this at the uh, the cart right now? Well, I I want some rolls to establish what our reasonable price would be for fur. All right, that would definitely be uh, Chin Belly's expertise. Chin Belly, since you're here now, go ahead and give me at um, one boon a intellect roll. Nice. Ooh, nice. Nice. Whoa. All right. Nice. Jesus. Get maxed, bitch. <laughs> Fucking stop. <laughs> I know exactly how many. Down to the last bit, how much we lost. Listen, trade lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is not okay. He has the mind. How much I... is for furs? I'm actually gonna deduct three of our furs right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'll do that. I can't do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, uh, Chin Belly, how, how much no, would, would we sell the furs for? How much did we just lose? Um, Thinking. Nine total. We just lost nine copper, right? Nine copper for three furs. Nine copper for three furs. I'm gonna that. make these calculations in my mind real quick. Could have used that. Uh, whatever. It's almost it's one nothing. silver. It's, not, it's nothing compared to um. To, compared yeah. to the what we have, we can still sell that easily. Uh, what was the good news? Well, I was gonna say it's good news, but I realize now that. Well, so you just got bad news. <laughs> say what again? This trader over here was offering me two copper pieces per fur, but it turns out they're worth more. Well, that, that's, that's a good price! Will. Two copper! I'll buy two copper for all his furs, each one. I have sold my mother for more than two copper. You get out of here! Scrap! Nope. <laughs> you leave! This, I've been here all day! You just arrived here! Don't have a cart set up! You go away! You go away, thief! You're calling me a thief! What the hell? Thief! I, I would. Right, calm down, Shin Valley. This is getting out of control. You. you. A thief would be a compliment to you. I called you a fiend! Get out of here, you <laughs> demon! <laughs> How, how dare you call me? What the? I'm not a thief. What the hell? And he see as he wipes his pants, and a bit of blood goes on his pants. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, is everything all right there? Uh, uh, I've had this damn cold last couple days. That's uh, nothing to worry about. But I think I'm ready to uh, pack up here and leave. I don't think that's a cold. No, I've had this before. It's some stupid condition with my lungs. I, I apparently inhaled some bad stuff from an alchemy lab a while back, and I get this every time I get a bit sick. As if we care. Get out of here, you fiend. I hope you get work. <laughs> Quiet, don't you? But you gotta Crap. Oh, look, you stay in here. I've been here all day. You're the one that should freaking... <laughs> you shouldn't want that goes. Not me. Wait, the worst you do, the worst you get. I'm gonna continue bickering with loud <laughs> And he actually starts doing very, very heavy coughing of fits right now. And after he's coughing, you watch as you can clearly see now starting to drip from his hand is a bit of blood. Shinbelly, I think we should I continue him bickering alone. louder and louder. No, Chin Belly, that's enough. So as you do, and you're arguing louder and louder, people are starting to now look in your direction. And they're seeing that this merchant is now aggressively coughing into his hand. And he's starting to bowl over in pain, and just racked with coughs. And he falls to his knees as he just coughs 
uncontrollably and blood just keeps coming up and coming up to where he has both hands now just literally pouring kind of like blood from the, the between the fingers of his hands and now it's a bit of the horror of a lot of people around that kind of point and go get a healer get, get a healer and they all kind of step back and things get just worse and worse and he eventually after a few minutes just does one very very final very very heavy heavy cough and he just falls to the ground on his side unmoving we copper you deserve this I spit on the ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like gently get everybody corralled away from this man, so that we don't get. We, I, I just want to make a gracious enough exit out of this place. Alright, I'm gonna waddle with him. All right, so you grab uh, all your friends, and you start to to leave. And yeah, you see people now going, oh, oh, oh what happened to what happened to him? He was talking to those people right there. Uh, they probably did something to him. I mean, they also got first. And so now a bit of a panic. Because no one's seen this happen before. No one's seen someone be kind of just healthy and just very, very quickly succumb to what is happening. He goes, oh, maybe, maybe they're a witch. Maybe there's something. Maybe they got some magic. And it's now starting to create a panic. And it kind of just ripples outward as everyone is now starting to point at your group, all of you. And the guardsmen come to go, wait, what happened? What happened? And you hear people go, these people, uh, they did a curse to the man. They, they killed the man. And you see groups of people now go, yeah, yeah. As you see that they have fear in their eyes of what just happened. And immediately um, they drop the crossbows. They go to their glaives. Or those, sorry, oh, guys, they go to the long swords. They all pull the long swords, and you hear now. There's a crowd of money guys, but you hear the crowd go, "No, there, there, by by the market stall where, where Shammer was," and you all hear as a group of guards start running. You hear the armor clinking, running towards all of you. <laughs> I'm gonna point like further down the road and be like, "The the the, the wizard went that way." I'm gonna bail, man. No. <laughs> We have run out of there. Just stay the wagon. Just leave it there. Fuck it. All right. So you you I'm run the hell out of there. I'm out of there. All right. Now when I hear Lawrence is where are you running? Am I, I'm apparently I'm running. Are, are oh, they sorry. To my apologies. My apologies. Um, Chin Belly, where are you running? I'm not running. It's Lazarus. Who the fuck my is apologies. running? I apologize. It's not Lazarus. All right, so that is where you're running. Are you running. Are you trying to go to the building? Are you trying to go to alleyway? Are you just trying to bring up the crowd? I'm running down the alley that I chased the cat earlier. Okay, 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 okay. So you start running down the alley. Now, with the throng of people, a bit of confusion, I want you to go ahead and give me. I'm going to say this will be because of the crowd, what's going on. One boon agility roll. In fact, all of them want to start running could do one boon agility roll. I'm going to join Chinbelly and say that, yeah, the witch ran that way. Well, no, the people are pointing at you. Uh, I want to roll food here. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Are you <laughs> no, saying that no. we're, not allowed to, we're not allowed to try to fool the guards? Oh oh. No, because no, no, no. you have literally about 20 people pointing at you specifically, so no. Yeah, but like, we didn't do anything. I know you didn't, but they are panicking. They're pointing at you. Remember that time when you said I'll be the first one in jail? Damage control, man. Just get out of here. And look how the tables have turned. Okay, uh, how many? How much fur can I grab? Um, oh, so bad. You can grab three furs under each arm if you want to. Three under each arm, so that's six fur, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Lawrence, how much? How much fur do we have left? We There's have nine furs total. Nine furs left. Okay, I'll take three. You take six. No, we're not taking furs. If you want to run, go ahead, but I'm staying here. You know, I'm staying here as well. I'm holding my damn ground. I'm innocent. Chimbella would never kill him. I'm also innocent. I'm just going to raise my hands and, like, surrender. But I'm saying, whoa, 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 we didn't do anything. How oh, dare me accuse me of sorcery. <laughs> um, Lazarus, I'm going to say this, because you are, with your background, um, this 
places, if they can find a way to prove it by having a healer, then they might be able to prove that this was not their doing. If they don't have a healer to prevent panic, they might just go ahead and blame whoever's going to be pointed at to calm down the people. So Lazarus, you would know this. For one, so I'm assuming they have one, but I'm, still gonna, I'm not going to take any chances. It's going to get sorted out. If we run right now, we're pr first of all, we're proving that we're guilty. Second of all, we can't sell furs anymore because even if we take them, they're just going to associate us with this bullshit. Exactly. We stand our ground. And we, and we lose the cart, so... All right, so you stand your ground. You see the you guards. Got the lawyer. You get the guards come in, oh, and they go. Stupid. All right, what is the meaning of this? Why are you being accused of being a curse in this man here? He was well. I have no idea. They checked. Yes, just... What did you this do? Man, this man is like dead. Healer. His lungs failed on him, and now we're being blamed for this preposterousness. As such a glorious merchant myself, I will not take this. Calm down, the crowd. We were simply arguing about prices, and his health gave out. All right, come with us. We're not arresting you, but this crowd here, they might take measles in hands. Come with us, we'll get this resolved. But what about the furs, good sir? We'll have the men take the furs, but if you stay here, there's going to be a mob. So come with us. All right. I'll count every single one of these first, and I'll make sure they're packed here when I get Just Come on, and he's motioned for all of you to follow him and the guardman. <laughs> What about Lazarus? Did he run out? This man. So, Lazarus, you have ran, but a couple of the guardsmen have seen you um, because your, fail, your role did fail. So you're not being chased, um, Lazarus. Now I'm going to say that Lawrence and Chimbelli are being escorted to a building. So, Lazarus, there's some guardsmen. There's only about two of them behind you going, stop! Stop you! Stop you, demon! And they don't quite, they didn't hear what was going on with Lawrence and Chimbelli. So, Lazarus, you're being chased. What do you do? You're in the alleyway. In the alleyway, there is walls, there is buckets, there is furniture around. All the stuff you'll find in the alley, like, junk and all that. Thieving, I'm assuming, is what they said. Mm. No, so they call him demon. Demon? Yeah, okay. that's a problem. That is a problem, isn't it? Well, I mean, you wanted to run, then that's what you got. Just give You're the lawyer here. You can, like... This game's going off to a great... already ran. This is not good. Peril, you can hear this going on right now. What, near me? Near me? Yeah, they're oh. getting towards you. You're hidden. You're in a different area. But you can hear... Because, um, you know, you've been the bad guys before. You're a burglar, so you know where to go. And so you're in a place that is... Kind of overlooking what's going on. So you actually double back. You see, you're in a building. It is actually overwatching this alleyway. And you see the person you stole from is not being chased by guardsmen. I'll take, I'll keep a closer look at what's happening to the chase scene as, as I do the thing I was doing. Okay. All right, Lazarus, what are you doing? Uh, I keep going. I just take as many turns as I can, you know, try and shake him. Okay, so they're also going to try to stop you. Now, they do think you're running and that you're cursed because they don't know what's happening with the guardmen. So, they might try and kill you. So, with that being said, Lazarus, and you're going to try to run, this will be a... This is going to be a straight agility roll. I have, I have faith in my rolls this time. No. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did it. You did it. Still, no. well, I mean, they still got a counter roll, but... Well, these, these, these today, I just don't... So, you <laughs> successfully get away. Yay! You rolled a natural one. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you completely get away, you hide. You stop another, you go like another side alleyway or like a night area to hide. You hear as the two guards run past and go, Oh, find this guy that cursed him. Oh, just kill him. Just not bring him in. Just kill this guy. I don't want to deal with this shit. And they run off. Hmm. I need to come up with a disguise. All right, Peril, you have done what you want to do, and yes, you're not watching this unfold. You watch as the guards run past, and you watch as now um, Lazarus steps back out the alleyway to do what he wants to do, where he goes next. All right, do, do, I put this in, do I put the things I received myself, or yeah. do you do it? Yep, go and do it. All right. Uh... Alright, uh, so I see Lazarus in like an alley now? Yes. 
Alright, uh, I'll transform back into a cat and jump down on a crate beside him. Lazarus, you hear the soft head of feet as a very, very familiar cat lands on a crate next to you. You scared me. And I just back off. But I need to focus on my own thing, so I just try to kind of... What I have on? Oh shit, that's on the wagon. Oh god. Hey there! Yeah. And the cat speaks to you. The cat speaks to me. <laughs> You're going crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I see like a cat in the for a moment. Speaks to you. What is happening? Do like a double check? <laughs> now, I'm gonna say this is a rare race, a Ferenc rare from another book. So, we're gonna see if you actually know about these. I want you to give me at three Bane a intelligence roll, Lazarus. Oh my goodness, three Bane. I don't know that we're, I don't know if we were so rare. I'm making it. An intelligence, really? Mm hmm. Why do you hate me so much? You're getting the rolls for it. So you have never counted fairy, never even heard about a fairy. And so right now, a cat is talking to you. But you do know about magic. So this could be a polymorph for a changed animal, but you don't know it would be a fairy itself. But this animal okay. speaking to you. So obviously magic involved. Did you just talk? No. Yeah. I don't even know how to take this. This is kind of bizarre. I saw you being chased by some guards over there. Are you okay now? Yeah. No, they, they, they basically think I murdered somebody with magic. Have you? No. No. Hmm. No. I swear I haven't done anything. And I, re I really don't have time for a chat right now. I need to come up with a disguise and get out of here. Or at least meet up with the others that were, that were actually... that actually remained in the marketplace. Well, I can help you with that, Nya. I know where to play, where to go. Where to jump, Nya. Do you? Mm-hmm. I'm a cat, see? Yeah. I don't think you're a cat. But I don't think it matters right now. I need to get out of here. Well, follow me then, you... What are you? Yeah? I'm a regular human. <laughs> Anyone can see I'm a regular human, dude. No, you don't... All right, yeah. You, your face was a little disfigured in my eyes, yeah. Come on, then. Yeah. Standard looks, what are you? Follow me. I'll jump. I will on. follow the magic cat. I fo I I go back to where I came from and show him the path to make him escape to a high higher elevated area. Okay, so you don't. You both definitely leave the alleyway, and as you're going up, you often see there's some beggars in the alleyways, and as you are traversing, going to better areas, you also see and hear. Beggars coughing. In fact, it's starting to be more prevalent around the area that a lot of people are suddenly getting fits of coughing. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll not talk because I don't I don't want to talk amidst other people. So I'll just wander like a normal cat towards a location where it will be safe for him to traverse and away from the guards, like I've been using. Okay. So, Lazarus and Peril, you can definitely kind of go where you want right now, using the back alleyways, and the question is, where do you want to go? You're definitely out of danger right now. Yeah, I want to see if I can find, a, go to sort of, uh, find some clothing, something that's sort of hanging around to dry or whatnot. For anything really to try and disguise my appearance. Uh, well, that would be just kind of hanging clothing. And I would say in the back alley, not really. I mean, obviously some beggars have some stuff. Um, you would, well, you have to go to a market stall or find someone and relieve them or buy the clothing, either one. Or you can go to home because you're in, in alleyways, so definitely home's around. So if you want to, you can do some uh, B and E. Do some B and E. Breaking and entering. <laughs> is, you is, cat person. Is there any burglars? Or, is there any uh, people around, or is it just us now? There's some bur there's some burglars. There's some uh, sexually homeless, or from looking for. There's some like bums around, or beggars in the in the alleyway. But besides that, you're in an area that has no people around right now. But you're around some homes, so you might hear some the soft talking of people that are around in their homes. But for the most part, you're by yourselves. Uh, I'll shake my head a little bit and like talk a bit quieter. 
I can't want to talk in public now. You're in a safe place to talk right now, so I'll say that. Alright, I'll raise my voice. Um, maybe, yeah. I'm just a cat. A lovely white cat. Yeah. Listen, I really don't have time for this right now. I need your help. That's what I'm here for, yeah. You seem to be a chaser. I am in trouble right now. Hmm. I know a lot about trouble. I've been in a lot of chases, yeah. What do you need help with? Uh, do you also have a cat's hearing? That I do, Nya. I'm Can just. Can you which one of these homes are possibly empty? I do. I, do I do agility check with a boon? Oh, well, what do you want to check? You want to check to see if they're empty? I yeah, want a like, and e and I got a quick check if there's. Yeah, yeah I want. I want to use my cat hearing to check if there's anyone. Uh, Vacant inside one of those homes. Ooh, would that be an intelligence? intelligence? I'd probably be intelligence also. Or would it be will? Intelligence. Give we'll me... I mean, there is perception, but. Oh, I forgot about fucking perception. Yeah, give me perception roll. And no boons. I don't think cats get much better hearing. I don't think that a perception roll exists. It's just flat in this game. Oh. One well, no, elves get a bonus to it. Yeah, so I think cats do too. Disgusting. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Give one boon. One boon to a hearing roll. Now, you're trying to hear in a building that has some walls, so it'll be one bang to a straight roll. Demo. Okay. All right. How, how do I roll? Give it to... Roll now, roll in the uh, dice tower, please. But how do I roll perception, though? Oh, um... Actually, Kenny, let me see. It's, Character sheet, it, combat track. It's, yeah, but that's not a roll. That's just yeah, a you flat can't. stat. Um, um, it's... Your your perception is a bonus to your intelligence. Here, I can do it. Give me one second. I can actually do this. I'm gonna make a formula. Crabby Patty formula. <laughs> Causing more trouble by trying to avoid trouble. <laughs> That's how we do it. So it's always a good idea. All right, you have a you have a new role. You have perception. Um, that is in your Bane and Boon section. Change the bonus to the perception bonus. That is um. So it's it's straight it's a straight bonus from intellect. That's what it is. So if your intellect bonus is plus one, it's plus one to your perception. If your intellect bonus is plus two, it's plus two. So put that number in the uh, perception bonus area. This is not the case for some characters. Yes. So if some of you have a higher one, you'll put that bonus in there. Alright, so it should, it should be... I have 10 and 10. I don't know why I have 11 perception, but I... I think you don't. So, go ahead and drop you perception. You have 11 perception because your perception equals your intellect yeah. plus 1 because you're a ferret. Hmm. I mean, my intellect is 10. I don't know why my perception is 11. Because your, intellect, because your perception as a ferret is your intellect plus 1. What does it say that? In your fucking race sheet. Ah, there it is. Yes. It, it, it's an added bonus. All right. So plus. Oh. Just do yeah, you can't do it. Let's pull it back. So just roll it. Don't roll it at zero either. <laughs> Actually, will it break? No, it? no. no. Break this this won't. This won't break it. It just gave you a d twenty roll at base uh, penalty. Right. So go ahead and roll it. Uh, peril. Oh, sorry, it wasn't in the dice tower, right? It's fine. Um, no, your perception bonus is not zero, uh, demo. It is plus two. Is it plus two? It's plus one. Plus one. Well, with his, well, his agility is... Um, or sorry, it's, sorry, my apologies. Intellect is zero, so yeah, it's plus one. So it would be 11. So let's say plus one in there. As it is, though, you succeed. So you hear that there is no one inside the room right now. You're hearing no one. That's what it is. It could be sleeping, but it's daytime. Well, it's morning time, essentially. But you're not hearing anything. So you think it's empty. There's, there's no one in the house now. I'm going in. <laughs> All right. Breaking, breaking in at the ring. So, grab some clothing, get out. in the alleyway, there's no essentially back door, so it's a window you need to get into. That's fine. All right. Now, this is a closed window, so this will be for you, Lazarus, if you want to. It will be a minus two. Um, sorry, it will be a two Bane roll. Or we can have uh, Peril do it. Yeah, sure. Let the cat do it. And can a cat open a closed window? Uh, 
is there any any way I can get inside with my small smaller size? Any, like, uh, I'll say no. So the answer this would be if you want to not look like you're. Uh, I'm not making any noise. If you want to break the window, you can do that, and it'll be fine. But for not making any noise, it'll be just, too bang. Wow, these people are rich to have glass and shit. It might just be wood, honestly. Yeah, it's wood. Uh, I guess I'm going to do it then. Bane 2. Again, amazing roll. Uh, it's agility. Of course it is. And life hates me, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you try to enter, and you enter the door. So this is not you, like, you succeed, but you do, unfortunately, break the thing. So you hear a big snappy noise. Now, luckily, this roll, there's no one inside, so you're fine. But you get entrance into the building. You look inside, and it is a commoner's hovel. You've got the hearth. you got um, a bit of bread and some food around. you got some implements, some tools on the table. The kitchen table they have or the dining room table. And you see a place where they keep their belongings and you see some clothing. Okay. And as yes. you look, uh, you find clothing that will fit you. And it will definitely be a change of garments. Okay, yeah. Uh, is there anything that looks shiny? Or like, uh, looks like a small thing that moves around? Just, get inside. just a quick change and then... You don't see, you didn't enter. Well, I follow him in. And that kid's going to give me a perception roll at, uh, just a straight perception roll there, um, Peril. So I get, like, perception 11. Does that still count as this roll, or is it just intelligence? Well, so remember, the bonus. So remember, all the bonus of your, uh, of your stats is 10 minus the attribute score. If your attribute score is 11, it means you have a score of plus 1. If you have an attribute uh, 13, you have a score of plus 3. So your perception is your intellect score plus whatever modifier from your race. So for you, it's plus 1. Then why did you ask what your perception is if you just rolled it 5 minutes ago? Because I, because it was, I rolled it with... A, with, with uh, Zero. No it should be plus 1. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's try it. So perception again? Yes. In the dice tower or... Oh, uh, you can't do it from there, so just roll it. Alright. Oh, Jesus. And you're still a zero, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I keep I keep changing it to one, but it doesn't do it. You do it in the in the in the bane and boom, you scroll that up to one. Yeah, it's at zero right now. Look Not at your bane and boom. Modifier in the bottom left. Alright, I got I got it, I got it. The whole point of that entire formula was so that you anyway, could put a plus one in me. Natural twenty though. So, okay. so you find uh let's see. Um Lazarus, roll me a D four. That's gonna be a one. Ooh. Oh shit. You find four copper. Who who finds it though? I'm not gonna take that though. Why would I take that? Apparently you find it? four copper. It's on the uh, table. It. I will leave that money there. I don't need How it. do you take it as a cat? Uh yeah. is that the kind of burglar? Is Lazarus around? Yeah, there's not really any rooms here, it's one Literally giant right room. Right so yeah. Fuck. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, I didn't take anything except for a change of clothes. There's money here. And then you, I'm out. There's money here. Don't you want to take it now? I'm what not do you a criminal. Mean? You broke into I a home. I abide by the law as much as I can. <laughs> you already <laughs> broke into a home now. Just take the money now. Don't, don't mention that. Don't speak. I thought you wanted my help, Nya. Don't, if you want to... That if, was your help. Well, if you want to get out of here, you need to bribe some people, Nya. Why do I need to bribe people? I look like a different person. People might just annoy you. We're in the slums, Nya. I want to get out of here. Okay. Do you leave through the front door, or you can go through the back alley again? The old window that I'm you broke through. through the alley. Okay, so you're back in the alley. I close the window. I, fo I follow him behind. You can't. You close the window. <laughs> Do you close the window on him, uh, Lazarus? No, no, he was in there. I was messing things up here. I wait for this cat to come out as well. Okay. All right. So you come out. Um. So actually, I, I, no time to get it. I keep looking behind the house with the four copper still inside. Just. I know. I know. 
All right, so now you have a change of clothing, Lazarus. You're fine. We're not going to touch jump scenes because you guys had to flip the fucking party to um, yeah. Tim Belly and Lazarus. Not Lazarus, so Tim Belly and Lawrence. So you two are now being escorted by the town guard. You get to one of the buildings that the town guard has been used for essentially prisons. Now, they take you to kind of like a waiting area, and they tell you, just wait here while I get this settled with. Yeah. <sighs> We're calling one of the priests. So wait to wait. What's going on here? Well, you're by yourself in the waiting room. Oh, okay. So the question I have is, do you want to do anything while you wait? I'd like to investigate this uh, this room that we're in. Are we locked here or are we just like made to wait? You're made to wait. It's not a cell, but it's also closed there's two doorways uh one entered they came through and the other doorway that the guardman left through now you're by yourself he did tell you to stay here you didn't say you're under arrest or you are under or you're detained or whatnot but he did say to stay here i'm gonna take a minute to like calm down and start thinking about this logically all right and chin belly what about and you I finally figured it out Oh, what? <laughs> it only took like two It only took me like four rolls to start cluing in that there might be some sort of sickness going around. Hey Chin Belly. So we were in the tavern, right? Yes. There was this guy that was coughing very violently for like a full minute. Wait. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. And the guy you were talking to also started coughing when we left. And then we went to the market and the guy literally died of coughing. I think there might be something wrong going on here. Yeah, Chimbali has the plague. He infects anyone he talks to. Then why am I not dead? Big thing. Lawrence. Yes. I think we should leave town. <laughs> I think I agree <laughs> with you. But what about our furs? Furs are temporary. Freedom is eternal. The door's open to the area. You see the town guardman that you're talking to? The escort by comes in. And with him, you see a female robed individual. And she looks at you two and going... Were you two near the individual that perished? You're being pointed out by a lot of people saying you're the cause of this. Uh, we're, not, we're definitely not the cause of this. Will you, do, will you allow me to do a, a spell around you? Won't hurt you at all, but will you allow me to inspect you a little bit? What, what is the spell? It's just to determine if you carry any type of... Uh, well, if you're the cause of this. Obviously, okay. we don't want to alarm anyone, but there's someone going around right now poisoning people, and I just want to do a bit of a spell to see if you're the one that's actually doing this. I want to see if you have any arcane arts about you. Well, I'm not. Well, boy, allow me to do this, though. Chin yeah, sure. Innocence? I have nothing to Chin, Chin, Chin Belly may smell weird, but I don't... <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, can, can you please open the door? This is actually quite bad. Um, actually, hold on. I'm going to nudge Lawrence on the side of Cast yeah, I'm not stopping her from casting it. So she I'm comes up to, to both of you, and she places her hand on your forehead, and she does a bit of an incantation, and you can feel a bit of a warm sensation I do the cover your body. Smile to her. <laughs> she ignores you. And she, well, she's doing much right now. She goes up to you, and she notices your, your chin... Or your your beard, Tim Belly, and she just has a bit of a disgusted look on her face. She goes, "That's grotesque." Uh. Like what you see, girl. <laughs> she ignores that. She puts her hand on your forehead, and she does the same thing. You feel a bit warm, of a sensation feeling, Tim Belly. And after a couple minutes, she goes, "These men didn't cause it. They can go." Very well. All right, you two can leave here. We got your cart just on the side right here. Um, I would say, though, try to stay away from the men that saw you. I know it was the middle of the marketplace, but again, some people have been getting sick. We're trying to find the individual that's been poisoning these people. And I can assure you, you're safe. Nothing to worry about. But when you find this individual that's been poisoning, 
we will have this man in the stocks and then hanged as soon as possible. So if you have any information about who might be doing this, please let us know. Actually, I do have one question. Yes. Is there any, like, um, cure to this if we get one on the road? Anything that subdues the symptoms? Well, just a night's rest. Uh, fortunately, the people that have been poisoned um, by whoever's doing this, this must be some kind of assassin. Um, it's a very, very thorough poison. We haven't been able to... Well, whenever we find someone, they've already died by it. So we haven't found someone an in the middle of being sick. An assassin killing fur merchants. Business must be wrong. Well, I, someone's probably just trying to cause unrest here. And so killing random people, and he's doing that. You saw what happened to you. You're being accused. And you're sure this is somebody's intentional attacks? This isn't just some kind of disease that is breaking out? No, it can't be to some disease. I mean, we've, we've dealt with disease before, but no, this has got to be the play of some individual. I mean, we've had other individuals. We've been at war in the past with... Let's go ahead and make a name. Let's find the kingdom that's near here. We've been at war with uh, the people in the... Uh, the Mudgrave Marsh. They come in, they've started some conflicts here. And they're a small little land, but during that time, we've had a bit of issues with them. Right now, this has got to be some people from there. I mean, they do have all sorts of diseases, and they're dirty down there in the marsh. Well, you have, you have any evidence for this? Well, what else do you think this is? It ain't some plague. Okay. All right. But as it is, we're, we're done here. We have all the maps to take care of. We're trying to find this person, so you so can now leave. leave. Yes, you're free to leave. Well then, Lawrence, I suggest we pack our things and head north. <laughs> north? Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> huh? Everybody we talked to has had something to do with the north. That was coughing. Well... As long as we avoid any assassins or suspicious figures, we should be fine. And you, Plus, okay, uh, coats sell well during when you're sick. Now, are you talking about this in the middle of the open or as you're leaving? No, we just we left. Like we're talking this like in casual in the streets. Okay. So you both leave. Now we're gonna jump scenes back to Lazarus and Peril. Now, where are you two trying to go? Lazarus, you got a disguise. Um, well, you try to change your clothing. You don't really change your hairstyle and stuff like that, but you do have a different clothing on. Okay. Now, where you wanted to do? Where you wanted to go? Uh, I'll take one of the exits. Oh, you're in the alley right now. Uh, out of town. Okay. All right. So you're going to you go back into the main like throw the thoroughfare. Um, you're being followed by Peril for the time being until Peril tells me otherwise. And as you go. You get to exactly the same exit you came in, you know, the same entrance you came in through. And as you are getting near, you watch. Again, there's, again, there's a train of people that are being investigated or searched by the carts as they're coming in. And immediately you see a couple of people rushing. And they're wearing robes. They're the priests. You recognize these as priests of the, the new god. And they start talking very quickly with the lead individual, the guardman, that you also recognize as the one that lets you through and also investigated you. Immediately, they close the gates to the city. Oh, shit. So we're the only ones out now? <laughs> no, no, no. You're still inside. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they close it before you get out. Uh, yo, we gotta find another exit here. Yeah. Make our way to one of the other exits. Right now, something is going on. All right, so Nevernet obviously has a northern, a western, and a southern exit. So northern exit has just been closed. You now head to the next one, which would be the western exit. As you get towards them, you can already see. You can hear people just come going, what the hell are they closing the exit for? We can't leave? No can enter in? What the hell is going on here? So you already hear that they've closed the western exit. I guess I'll try and find the others right now. I'll follow Lazarus. All right, so Lawrence and Chinbelly, what are you two doing? You're outside? You're now going through the city streets? We're walking down the streets of the cart, discussing if we should get So which one of you is pulling the cart? Who's pulling the cart? 
I'm pulling well, the We haven't reached the cart yet. Oh, yeah, the cart was on next. The guards took the cart. So nothing would be stolen. So the cart was next to the uh, the house that you're taking to. I think we're both pulling it. Okay. So you're both pulling the cart through the uh, the streets. Now, where are you trying to go? Now, obviously, right. you have no sign of uh, Lazarus where the hell he went. Nah. We're going south. Also, does uh, Chinbelly realize that his guarding rat is no longer in the cart? Yeah, he's around. What are you talking about? He's right there. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's right there. You point and Lazarus. So not Lazarus. Chimbali, there's another rat there. Ah, oh, there you are. Come here, boy. I open up my hat and he runs up my shoulder. Squeak, and squeak, 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 and it gets in your uh, your hat. <laughs> it's a bit heavier than you remember. You must have gained some weight. Good. <laughs> good. Had a good bit of. We're going to the south gate because the marketplace was on the other side of the town, and we don't really want to be going by then, by there. All right. So, so you're going towards the south the gate, and as you're going, you're hearing people being arguing, like, well, "Why did they close the gates for? Why? Why did they close the gates?" And you get to where the southern gate is, and Lazarus and Peril, you want to make sure that all gates are closed. So after heading to the west gate, you go to the south gate. You get to the south gate, and you see the familiar cart. And you see Tim Belly as well as Lawrence. I'll run up to these two chuckle fucks right now. I'll run. A, I'll run. Oh, <laughs> I follow Lazarus. Don't call me names. I'll just follow by Lazarus' feet. Just staring up. I will call out to Trade Lord. Ah, Lazarus. Trade Lord. Oh, no, no, Lawrence. I, Whoa, some, why the hell were you running here. away? I know, look, look, we don't have time to talk about this. They're closing all the gates. Yes, we can see that now. I think it's no, already I mean, too late. The west are also shut right now. No one's getting in or out. Yeah, east is also going to be shut right now. You think they didn't shut them all by now? There's only three ways to go, Mike. There's four gates, right? No, three. Three? There's no, there's no eastern gate. gate. Yeah. Uh, well... I fucking hate this card anyway. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna get my backpack and pack as many furs into it as possible. You can do that, I'll say. You know, all of you can pack your uh your furs. I'll jump onto the it's wagon. Split. We're not taking the wagon, cat. I stay I stay on the wagon pretending I don't understand them. Yeah, well by the way, Lawrence, uh, this cat can talk. Uh what? But it, it speaks to me. I think you might have a cost. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Lazarus. I'm gonna take a step away from 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 Lazarus. It speaks to me. I swear it can talk. I've I've heard it talk as I fled. I'm sure. All right yeah. then, cat. And why don't you say something? No. Anyway, what's even worse in the back alleys? You know what we've seen in the marketplace. The beggars seem to have the same issues. They're also mm. coughing up blood. All right, so the healer in this town is absolutely fucking retarded. Because she thinks that somebody is trying to poison the people here. I and see. that this is not some kind of a contagious disease. She checked both of us and confirmed we're not sick, I guess. Or maybe we just can't cast spells. But, um... Yeah, this is why we're packing, and we need to find a gate we can hop over. If we stay here, we're gonna die. Why hop over a gate right when now? we can just bribe the guards? You are not bribing anybody. I don't think we're getting out the normal way. This is why I said we should find a place to hop over the wall. How high is the wall, Horst? Uh, The wall is about, I'm gonna say, 20 foot in height. The stone wall. Okay. That's, that's okay. okay, I got rope. <laughs> yeah, right, we're gonna bring out the rope. Ooh, that's okay, that's okay, I'm a cat. I can just... <laughs> yeah, but you're staying with the wagon. I am, actually. <clears throat> actually, I have, a, I have a plan for this. Do you hear someone coughing a bit close to you? And he's doing the same coughing, the Braxa coughing to his body. 
And you hear another individual go, oh, get away from me, get away from me. And you see this person get pushed to the ground. And a, a fight breaks out between this individual. This guy has a dagger at his side, as well as a mace at his other hip. He's wearing leather armor. This is someone that looks like he's an actual like adventure or someone who is like, a mercenary. And he pushes down this coughing individual who seemed to have been the father of a family that was going by, causing an immediate fight break out between the the brothers or the sons. Wait, 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 wait. How close are we to the gate? Oh, you're probably about maybe um, 15 feet from the gate. I run over to the gate and yell, guards, guards, it's a fight going on. He has the plate. Um, the, the guards, they, they see this and they do kind of have a couple rush forth as well as some other ones. Now, as Why you also run, that way, I want to sneak out. Um, well, the, the gate's already closed, but as it's happening, <laughs> the, this fight breaks out literally next to you guys. And so, unfortunately, in your current garb, I'm going to say that, uh, Lawrence and Lazarus look a bit similar to the, the clothing that these people have been wearing. And so as these people are fighting, it's kind of a big family. I've been fighting this one, let's say mercenary. He sees... I to say that I want to leave the place. Yeah, this happened immediately. So he sees both of you guys, Lawrence and Lazarus, and he goes to essentially, he starts wailing on people. This happened right next to you guys. And so as he starts wailing, he sees you guys and thinks you're essentially with this group of people. It's a bit crowded. And so he goes to essentially swing at uh, – he's swinging at everyone with this mace. And he is knocking people the hell out. He's probably killing some people also as he's striking them with these weapons. So I want to know is what you two do as this is happening. Being attacked? Yeah, essentially, yes. Yeah, I'm running the fuck away. All right. And Lazarus, what about you? I don't know if, do I have my staff on me? We're not fighting a bunch of guards. But no, it's not the guard. It's the single man that pushed yeah, the, all, the father on the ground. Awesome. Not the guard, but the guard aren't there yet. <laughs> I'll prepare my staff and then, I don't know, try to sweep him off his feet. All right. So, um... He, yeah, he goes, and he sees you with a weapon, so he thinks you're with a family, uh, Lazarus. So he is going to try and, well, he's trying to beat the shit out of you um, because this guy wants to leave, and he is a bit panicking right now. You can see in his eyes the way he is. So what I want to have happen first is, Lazarus, go ahead and roll me a, um, actually, no, I'm going to go into this. So go ahead and do what you want to do, Lazarus, because he looks like he's about to strike you. So, Lazarus, what do you want to do? Am I supposed to roll now? What am I supposed to roll? Uh, I'm not, I was going to do initiative, but I'm not doing initiative because I'm doing the initiative for this gaming itself. So, you can act okay. first. So, this guy is essentially well through people that were essentially were next to you, which is why this is kind of happening. He's, he's confusing you guys as part of the family that uh, he pushed okay. down. So. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just going to roll that. All right. So you go and you hit his feet and he goes to the ground and immediately he starts getting pummeled by the family of the man he pushed down and he's getting beat to a bloody pulp. And as he does, you see more of the family start stopping as they themselves are starting to cough and cough violently like the father was. Fail. Fail immediately. I ignore, I ignore this. I grab the cat. I leave the rabbits because I can't fucking take the rabbits, so... Uh, I'll, hey. I'll try to evade his grabbing motion and just follow Lazarus wherever he goes. Alright, where are you guys going? I am being picked up. Well, I'm gonna roll... Sure, yeah, I'll we'll we'll try. Yeah, Probably yeah, not we'll... gonna work. No, that, that didn't no. grab you at all, unless you... No. I don't think you can... Well, we clear the area, definitely. And I can still roll agility if you really want me to. Away from the crowd. You didn't beat me by much, then. But you didn't grab me. I'm just gonna dodge out of well, the way and just follow uh, the party. Alright. Yeah. Uh, going into the back alley towards... Hey, wait. Where's Chinbelly? Is Chinbelly with us? I'm at the gate trying to drive <laughs> my way through. Uh, you get to the first guardman, and he goes, Get back! No one can leave! And he literally shoves you back. 
And you see his own eyes are a bit panicked because he doesn't know himself what's going on. He's just been told to leave, let no one leave. And so, yeah, he pushes you back. Now, oh, come on. I'm Jim Billy. I have no disease. No, 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 no one can leave. And he goes to grip his longsword. And he goes, don't test me. Not right now. No, no. Let's be reasonable as I <laughs> with three <laughs> copper. Just leave this area right fucking now. find another guard you just lost yourself some good money sir yeah i see he was a bit panicking now here's the situation this place is absolutely closing down now being your profession peril you would know that most likely any type of thieves guild would have a secret exit possibly a tunnel to leave the city being a burglar you would know this do i know there's a thieves guild in this town there would be one he's got to find one Every town is going to have one, or a group of thieves, or a, a place to sell a fence, or a black marketplace. And so, there would every city would have a way of entering that's not through the main gate. Alright, I'll... I'll take off towards the direction of the slums, where most likely the um, thieves guild would be. Okay, and so, Lazarus, you see the cat take off. Alright. Lawrence, I think we should follow the cat right now. Why would we follow the cat? We're trying to get over the gate. You don't have a plan at all. How are you going to get over I the have gate? A, I have 50 foot of rope. <laughs> There's guards in front of the gate. Not the gate. Any part of the wall is fine. Sigh. The crossroads. Lawrence. Crossroads, what do you do? I gotta find Chinbelly first. Can't leave without him. Chinbelly, where are you going? I'm. If the first guard ain't talking, I'm talking to the second one. <laughs> if that ain't walking, that, that man ain't reading. Well, the, the, the fact that there's a group of people at the gate, um, they just can't do it because you'll see one else doing it and they'll get in trouble. So you're not gonna bribe the guards right now. Unless you bribe all of them, and yeah, you're gonna need some gold to do that. Waddling away, avoiding all crowd. Swearing at the gate, at the crowd. Now, where's that damn cat born? What do you want me for? Jim, buddy, we gotta climb the, the, the wall. Do I see them? I'd say so. We're not that far away. Alright, I'm just gonna waddle over them. I'm impressionable. I'll just roll with Lawrence's plan. All right. If the cat wishes. If the cat wishes to convince us otherwise, maybe the cat should talk. I'll just the cat roll. can't talk, Lazarus. Exactly. <laughs> Cats don't talk. It's like my. I swear it talks. I'll, I'll go on the high vantage point and try to overlook the party. All right. See, in my cat form. But like, I don't think they'll see me anymore. Or they might. Uh, I'm not, uh, can we, it's like, take... We have take... this glorious plan of scaling the wall. Can we take the back alleys to where... It's just 20 feet, dude. In broad daylight. While everybody's having other problems of their own. Yes, of course. I, I trust you. Can we, can we find some kind of, like, hideaway, like, alleyway that leads all the way up to the you know, wall that we could, you know, get on you, the roof of the nearby building and then hop over. You do. And in fact, as you do, you watch as someone else with the same idea starts to climb the wall. And you see this from the distance and you can hear the guards go, get down, get down, we're going to shoot you. And the guy keeps on climbing. And well, we'll see if he actually gets out. We'll see if he uh, gets away. You see the uh, the guardsman actually loose uh, crossbows. <laughs> the fate of one man. All right, and yeah, you watch as essentially four crossbows. You see four bolts strike the wall next to him, but one does plunge into his back, and he he falls backwards into the ground. 
So you realize that these people are, the guards are literally shooting people trying to escape over the wall right now. <laughs> I laugh and say, Lord, All right, you new plan. <laughs> so much for your plan. All right, what now, though? What now, though? We could wait the quarantine out in some, uh, some alley that's not so just, just by... Just wait it out. We could bribe ourselves out. We don't have and money. Anyone have connections to the deep skill? They might have a uh, I'll I'll go back to them in, inside the wagon that they're in. are they still we're, no, 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 we're no, abandoned no, 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 the no, wagon no, okay. okay all right 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 uh I'll go back towards their feet jumping from a high vantage point <clears throat> there's that cat again I'll um I'll scale on Chin Belly's forearm and try to get to the rat underneath his hat hey what are you doing get this cat off of me. <laughs> Why don't you take the cat off of him? I'll uh, I'll bite onto the rat and then gave chase towards the thieves' guild so they chase me. Well, they're th well, that's gonna be some rolls, chief. That is, yeah. All right. So, are we chasing peril? No, he, he, he's trying. He's trying to bait us by taking the rat. Yeah. So the question is, do you want to chase him? Well, does he get the rat? Ah, okay. So, uh, Chin Belly, I want you at one boon. Go ahead and roll me a agility roll. Same with you, Peril. Well, you get one boon. I fucked that up. I'll take the three one. So I also, do I also take a boon or just? Yes. <laughs> it might not matter. Oh, Wait, why is it, it plus ten? I need to roll twice. Um, either way, yeah, he succeeded. So, Peril, as you go to start to grab and you go under the cat uh, or the hat, Chimbo, you literally grab um, Peril. No, you don't. It's so. I, I just I'll take it by the neck and just toss her down. Like, All right, Peril, you're put on the ground. I gave chase towards the thieves' guild without the rat. And I well, like, uh, I, I gave Lazarus like a glance. It's a cat. What am I supposed to do with that? It's a talking cat, Lazarus. You didn't hear it talk. You, you keep denying me. According to you, it's a talking cat. It is. But do you have proof? How would I have proof of a talking cat? You Look, maybe you should just follow sandwich. it. Maybe you should convince the cat. I'm like We're waiting. In trouble right now. We need a new. We need a new plan. I'm like, hey wait. cat, hey cat. If you if you ask for it, I'm gonna give you this piece of meat. I'm gonna pull out one of the rations in my backpack. I ignore it. It's not moving. See, it doesn't talk. Hey cat, if you say a word, I'll throw you fatty. I take um, my little rat by the neck and just dangle it in front of. I stare at the rat intently. Come on, kitty kitty dog. I walk forward bit by bit. Up, 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 up. I race it higher. Come on, talk. I try to <laughs> lunge at the rat. <laughs> Wait, oh, what is it? Like bullfighters? I try to like do that and just like shit <laughs> breeze to the side. <laughs> Ole! The is on. Do those rolls again. All right, I'll be Jody rolls. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Peril the gets rat. the rat. I take the rat into my mouth. I bit into its neck, and then I God run back. It. I run back, and wait. No, get back here. Give give fatty back. And wait for you to chase me. I, I run around in like a in like circles. So you know I'm in, I want you to right, we're, we're chasing the cat. Fatty's like a brother to me. Give it back. <laughs> Here's your brother. <laughs> you just sacrificed your brother <laughs> to get away. All right. That's how it I, goes. I, I do like a motion where I like um, shake him from left to right very roughly. 
you know, like oh tiny, his tiny body, and then I just like run towards <laughs> these girls as they chase me. All right, you give chase as Peril the cat starts to run towards the slums. <laughs> no, fatty. After like five meters of running, I start panting and walking slowly. <laughs> I will carry Chinbelly if I need to. Jesus Christ, how strong are you? <laughs> I have an average uh, strength score of 10. Understandable. You know Chinbelly's pretty fat. He may be small, but he's... I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what? How? I will just pull him along. This if I meat to... beer doesn't come If I need to drag him, I don't care. You're, heavy, you're 50 pounds heavier than I am. <laughs> you're like morbidly obese. Let's get yeah. this party going, come on. Have you seen <laughs> this shit? Let me see my <laughs> Alright, so... We're going to see as we're chasing. Uh, we're going to make it easy. Just want to do one roll. So I want uh, Peril to give me at one. Let's see if he catches you, Peril. So Peril, one boon. I want you to give me a agility roll. And then everyone else that's chasing this guy, give me a straight agility roll. Oh, Time to shine. No. No. I do it. You did it twice, though. Oh, I did? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, I rolled a one. Nah, rip. Chinbelly is just the most agile person of the group. <laughs> Wait, do you just roll once, he's or just, do you roll twice? He's just secretly, you know, bad and everything. Yeah, everyone rolled once. I no, I no, no, it's just like, I, 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 dub I, I clicked it, but it didn't happen, and I double clicked it, and I rolled it twice. Mm. As is, though, Chinbelly, you actually... Well, before Peril could get away too far, you do catch up to Peril, and you do catch up to her. It's up to you how you want to go with this, but you catch up to Peril. No, give me fatty I can't fucking back. believe it. His, his lifeless corpse is dangling in my mouth. Oh, there you are, fatty. Another rat appears. Another rat appears. <laughs> 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 is, it, um, is it just me or are the rats the ones carrying the bubonic plague? We don't know that. <laughs> Probably know it's bad smells that carry it. Anyway, what, what do you do when you catch up to me? Just leave my leave fatty in my mouth? That's not fatty. This is fatty. I hold up another mouth. Rat. He's got another rat. Anyway. I'll Where were you leading me, cat? I'll I, I say nothing and continue towards where I was going. So are you giving like an obvious uh, pattern to like have them follow you? Yeah, I, I like run around in circles if they're too far behind. Okay, so I you kind of realize that this cat is kind of leading you guys somewhere. Not doing typical cat things. I'll just tag along as I intended originally. All right. So oh, no. after that a little was... bit, you are taken to the slums of Nevenin. I'm sorry. Following a non-talking cat first time, first try would be very metagaming. I know. Demo's being a pain in the ass, but we'll go with it. So when you're playing with them, you have to we haven't got time. All right, but you do end up in the the slums, where most typically you would find a thieves guild. And so, with that information, Peril, what are you doing now? Uh, what do do people of the thieves guild know what I look like or know of me? Probably not. You just sent, you just you just came here from a completely different. Place. Yeah, so they wouldn't know you. All right, uh, I'll go to the back alley of the thieves guild before they arrive, perhaps. And transform back into a human form. Okay. Now, you yourself would know what you're looking for. Being a burglar, you would know who to look for. And so you actually see a member. You see a beggar um, that stands out in a certain way that you would know would be a member of a thieves guild. He has the tail of someone who is eyeing that would, well, rob people blind. It's senseless. You can recognize this kind of person being am a I burglar. Am I transformed now? Yes. 
And where is this burglar? Outside or inside? He's in the alleyway. Just... Alright, I'll go up to the burglar, but like a... Um... Excuse me, but we're following you. Did you see me transform? Well, you'd have to lose us to do that. And I you've been trying to have us follow you this entire time. I, I was asking Hursk if I transformed without being seen. Yeah, like, right when you turn to the, like, you can turn an alleyway really quick and then transform, and then they can fall right in and see you. Yeah, so I'll just walk normally towards the burglar, the beggar. Does she have a tail and ears? No, he looks like a human. She looks like a human. So essentially what happened is you're following this cat, and you're going down the street, then the cat turns to an alleyway. Immediately, she turns to a human. So right when you turn the corner, you see a human now standing there. That's this walking towards. That's not what I was led to believe. I was promised cat ears and tails. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Did you see a cat pass by here? No, no, no. Excuse me, what is this accent? Are you from south? I like, uh... In the south, no one reaches. I, I, I gesture my hand from left to right to, like, try to shake him off and um, crouch towards the beggar. And, like, Cr uh, crow crouch! What are you, you know, doing? Like, like squat towards him, because he's also... Why are you... Excuse me, we're just looking at this girl squat? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we should leave, Lawrence. I'm not like the look of... Psst. Hey. Are you psst haying the... Be the burglar? The beggar, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? Want to spare some I coin? I take out one copper and put it into his palm and give him like a, um, like a nod, like a knowing, knowing nod that I want some information on how to get into the field guild. Well, what do you want? Doors over there on the side. And he kind of points to a, a door that's kind of about two doorways down. Do you know the way out? Well, of course I know a way out. What's it to you? I need to. I need to. Tra I'm, I'm like talking. I'm trying to talk in a whisper. I need to transport four weird beings and myself. Do you think the guild can do that? No, absolutely. For a bit of coin. That's three beings, not four. How much would the coin be? Now, go inside. Talk to uh, Magri. He'll know. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I, st I stand up and face my party, <laughs> dressed in a cloak that hides my visage. Hello. Do we do we, do we know you? No, 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 you don't. Uh, wouldn't... <laughs> Wait, actually... You see, Lazarus has recently been robbed by a particular girl That's that you. happens to look exactly like you. Something I don't know, but he should definitely notice. He would know, because I was I had a cloak on. He wouldn't Dude, know My short-term memory is just broken. Well, that, and yeah. I also, I also had a, I have a cloak on top of me. So oh, yeah, the exact same looking cloak that you have right now. It's, it's black. <laughs> it's black or gray. All right. <laughs> How many people? Lazarus, perception roll at um, one bane. Oh, Jesus. Uh, here's a bane. That's awful. And I guess this is perception. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> I've never seen this person. Oh my god, Kunz, I please... Nothing about her reminds me of anything. Please roll, like, one more than three. <laughs> one. You don't know me, but I can help you get out. Yeah. I mean, I... <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, yeah. I can help you get out. But we might as well take the option. All the, okay. gates, are, all the gates are shut. There's no. Uh, this is a weird day. Don't worry. I know the place to go. You call this a weird? You should see what. <laughs> you should see where I'm from. 
Trade for I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a thing. I I, I go forward to lead the group towards the thieves guild entrance and open the door. You know about the old men colony in Heart's Rest? What? Me neither. Make a sound. All right, you get to the door, and well, it's unlocked. You open it, and inside you see a kind of a small warehouse-esque building that has a bit of crates lying along the walls. And there's a trap door um, that has been recently uncovered and is currently open. There's a box that would actually sit, you can see a perfect size would sit next to it, cover it, that has been pushed to the side. I go towards the trapdoor and beckon them to follow me. Come in! This is the way! What's down there? It's everything you've ever wanted! And I feel like I'm gonna... Passage, is it completely dark? And I feel more... like I'm gonna get my fucking kidney just... <laughs> jacked. <laughs> well, I don't know if they do that kind of thing. It is dark down there. I, it's okay, I have torches. It's okay, I can see in the dark. Me too, I can also see in the dark. I'm gonna I'm light a torch. Because I have a goddamn candle. Yeah, because I rolled better for wealth than you did. Jesus Christ. Wait, how did he roll? <laughs> yeah, he did. He's actually, he rolled the, uh, the highest for uh, the wealth. I'm right. the richest person here. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, you the light the torch, um, Lawrence. Yeah. Come in, come in. There's a long hallway through here. Yeah. So I say this person goes first, and I point to this peril thing. I do go first. I lead them. I lead the group towards the fuse gate. As you're walking through this tunnel-esque system, you can kind of gauge the fact that this is near the western wall, and you're kind of gauging it and you can sense that you're heading towards the direction of the wall and you're piecing I'm together now what? are you a navigator i am a navigator I okay know exactly what yeah so you know exactly what's going on right you know this is a thief's tunnel you know that this was a uh a smuggling tunnel what this is told you this is where everything you want and would have wanted is here ahead of you you see a bit of light in the darkness it's a room torch light torch lit filled and coming from the room you hear an argument between a couple people can't see them right now um but you can see this and hear this ahead of you can i try to make out what they're saying Go ahead and give me perception rolls. That would be a good start, yeah. And real quick, I'm going to take a quick pee. Bear back. No, I'm completely deaf. I am super aware. Time to shine. <laughs> hey, you did Finally, it! Finally, some yes. roll. You did it. Yes, me. Also, I like how fucking Lazarus is completely... Does not recognize me. <laughs> Perfect crime. I don't know your voice. I don't know your face. I don't. I've never seen you in my life. I mean, the only thing you could have seen is the cloak I'm wearing, but it's black and gray, so you probably just. It's like that of... meme. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you probably. The, the only thing you'll probably recognize is the cloak, but if you don't. Alan. Uh, fat man. Uh. Roll perception. Uh, how do you how do you roll Move perception? your hands to the bane and boon your panel. And boons. What? Bane and boon panel. You have it over perception there. Perception one or perception zero? You have perception whatever bonus What's you have for intellect? perception. My intellect is ten. Then zero. Then yeah, but what does your combat tracker say for perception? Eleven. Then oh, man, you one. add one to it. And so then so same one. It's correct right now, Alan. Go ahead and roll. Nope, he's You hear gone. nothing. <laughs> I'm adjusting to the torch. Look at these rules. All the same. No, we're we're hearing things. Also, yes, it is. We're like well, having a party here. Things, so 
I mean, I'm hearing things, I just don't understand what they're saying. No one hearing things here is Lazarus. I, actually, I think I should have... Person. I think I should have rolled with a boon because I'm a cat, but I don't know if that You're works. You're not a cat right now. Yeah, but I don't know if that works while I'm in human form. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> All I know is that if I punched you, you'd be knocked out. I think we should pause you for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Why? I will. I will hold Lawrence back and just you know tell him to be quiet and not move. Yeah. I'll, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stop in my tracks. And uh. Because Lawrence, it sounds like you shouldn't go ahead right now. I'll, I'll, I'll lean I'll against. Wait. What's going on? I lean against the wall. That's like you need to stop chilling in the place now. And that they that should trust no one. I don't think it's. I don't think we should go forward right now. Let's just wait this out. Let's see I how. I gotta roll a perception three. I'm moving forward. <laughs> I'm waltzing out of here. You gotta stop him. <laughs> Alright, Chibble, you're moving forward. I can't stop him. I'm a, yeah. I'm a small cat girl. He's too big. <laughs> I can't stop you're him. You're goddamn right, I am. <laughs> I can't here stop. comes the choo choo train. <laughs> I can't stop him physically. Well, since they're moving forward, I guess we gotta do it too. I'll just, uh... Wait, I, I, I pa passed the corner, right? And I hear the people, I see the people talk? You can hear them talking, yes. Do I see them? No, not yet. I, I keep walking, I keep whistling. Loud. But do you hear them? Small, this, so think about is... Here, I'm gonna, I'll make this easy, I'll do this. Be sure about a map. I'll make it exactly what I want. You you hear you hear them. You just don't understand what they're saying. You know they're there though. Okay, I whistle quieter. <laughs> You've been led into the cat's trap, my friend. Uh, that's my response in character, by the way. Interesting. Good to know. Did you guys change the color of your dice? I changed mine to white, but it's not really working. What is, is it? That? For me, it's that? working. Oh. I don't know, maybe it's not doing it in the character sheet or something? Maybe. Right. I'm rolling both the character sheet and the, and the regular ones. I changed it to the color of my choice. Yeah, yours is white, uh, Lazarus. How do I change color again? Uh, top, top right of the screen says COL. The thing is in the chat, it's never white in the like writing. No, but the dice color itself is different. It's mainly for um, icons or for uh, arrows when you do them. I'm a okay. goblin, so my thing has to be green. No, I mean, the chat that is displaying is all black, the, the icon for the dice, but when you roll them, they're a different color. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the green. That's a weird thing. What's this? Oh boy. You know what else is a weird thing? Hearing talking cat. Your life. I mean, Chin Belly does has a. Does has a pretty weird. It's mind shift. I can tell you all about it. It's, a, it's a repurposed tunnel. Yeah. Essentially. So. You know what my mother was called, Lazarus? <clears throat> uh, yeah, it was with her last night. Oh, really? She, you know she's a rat, right? You know she's a rat. It's fine. Oh. Nothing's illegal. My, my, you're kinky. <laughs> so, coming from essentially that direction... Actually, no. Me, me, just a little more drying. Can you do the ghost again? I will not do the ghost again, no. <laughs> So, Chimbelly, you hear from essentially that direction. It is the voices. Uh, how do you wait, how do you just... how do you walk forward by like like? We should just walk. We should just go forwards and ignore them. I just. Who's who's on the right there? Who's who's this? Who's this? That's right a here. Error. You try to point it. Who is? Who is this right here? Yeah, who is this? How do I draw this? Oh, <laughs> that's nothing. 
Uh, hold on both mouse clicks and just... That is... Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, that. This Patreon. It's the, author, it's the author of the map. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a person. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Can we just, can we just like have a um, cover up Patreon and party and just have? Is our party gonna be called Patreon? That's the map. Here, I'll cover it. I'm going to sneak up like this. I thought you were just whistling. My goblin feetsies are very quiet. You weigh two hundred pounds. My goblin feetsies are very quiet. All right, so for you, Tin Belly, I want you to go ahead and roll me, please, at <laughs> one. Why the fuck is Bane. a fat ass our van our vanguard fucking sneak boy? Sorry, one sorry, Bane. Say that again. I want you to roll me at one bane a hidden agility roll. So in the dice tower, please. Because you didn't stop him, Mike. That's why. I was being stopped. I can't stop You should have stopped him. I, what do you mean? I'm a small girl. He's a massive unit. You could have just told him, don't go forwards. <laughs> it's fine. Like... We're in this mess now. I feel like somehow he managed to sneak past. <laughs> he's gonna do it. He wobbles forward. He's the most he's... agile and the most stealthy I'm... boy. I'm also gonna try to sneak now. I was raised by rats. I know the way of crawling. I was raised by a rat. <laughs> you grew would, up would, with rats. I was. I would, I would like to. Molded I would like by to them. stealth. I want to attempt to walk past them. If they look at me, I am going to tip my head and say... <laughs> <laughs> they don't see you. They are in the midst of talking. I walk... Walking. I walk... I walk behind Chinbelly, seeing that he's, as he had no hostile uh, interactions. I'm gonna turn back and do a, a four sign, and then point towards the tunnel, and then keep it. Yeah, I'm right. gonna stealth. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna stealth as well. I'm an outlander. Do I get bonus to stealth? Uh, you get one boon. Okay. Can I get? Do you stealth? Can I get a boon? Agility. For being a for being a burglar. Oh wait. I should have done that in the dice tower, right? It's fine. You do your you do your rolls hidden anyway. Should I just roll this in a dice tower, or...? Yeah, you can, but... And you all, you don't open, because it might help my rolls. Because it is opposed, so my rolls are hidden, so you don't know my guys rolled. Uh... Her Hers, can I get a boon for being a burglar? I don't know what I just Yes! Rolled. And I will unpull... Maybe you have your cloak as well, right? Yeah, so that's two boons, yeah. So that's three? No, it's two. Oh, okay. I'll do the... Do it all in the tower. I, I don't know if before anything happens. How do I move on this panel? Drag your uh, token. Just like that. It, it doesn't. Oh, okay. I do it for you. I prove it. So I, I did my rolls in your tower. Mm hmm. Well, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna sneak past and take a look at what's over there while I'm passing. I put out the torch, by the way. Now, demo, you can actually do that roll hidden in the uh, the tower. Um, you can do the perception roll, but you can do the agility roll um, in the dice tower. I did it, I did it in the tower, right? Well, you could do it together. So do the actual boon, um, and then drag the dice. So you have to roll the 2d6 in the tower. So do the actual normal roll. Only for the perception roll, you have to do it the way I told you. Um, but you go the way. As it is, all of you get across. All right. So, so, I, so I need to do boons in the chat and then roll agility in the in the tower. When yeah. What do, can you? Can we see what was go, what's going on? Can, can what ha, what was over there? I. All of you actually passed. They're actually not looking that well. They were pretty All right, well. But what, but I want to see. Fine. <laughs> fine. They're all coughing. Oh fuck! We're we're, we're getting out of here. 
This waltzing has no stop. That is a blocked off wall. It's caved in. Damn. All right. So right there is caved in. That's caved in. Can we go direction. over here anywhere? I'm a navigator. Can I can I can I navigate our way out of this? Ooh, yeah, that is smart. I'm following this one. I just follow the tracks and it makes the most sense. Yeah, as a navigator, I'd know. Yeah, but the the wall is blocked off there, Demo. You can't go there. This is this is caved in. Yeah, that green arrow is caved in. Can I do some kind of roll to intuit if there is even a way out of here? Like check for. Um, well, you know to... the way the the wall's heading, so you definitely know this track is heading to the west, and so that's where the wall would be. And so you would know that going on this map up would be the way to get out. All right. Well, can I can I? feel for a draft somewhere to, to maybe help me point me in the right direction from your current location you cannot feel a draft yeah. this is all this is all a dead end huh it's like we're gonna have to do a combat boys look this is a dead end you know there's a path up upwards as well yeah I wanted to go there but hers is an enemy no, but like here is also a pass. Like this is a pass. No, I think. Go ahead, check it out. It's not a. Yeah, but should be able to see that too. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> no. Should I not be able to see what's ahead of me here? Like a little bit more. Uh oh. Large rats. That's because we are now going into combat. Wait, there's oh, Pat. There, no. your, your mom and dad is here. So, two very, very large rats. Now, what's unusual about them is that this cart right here has some has some ore on it, and this rat was eating some of the ore, and it looks at you, Lawrence, and its eyes actually glow green. And it immediately goes, and it's going to charge at you. So, we're now going to go to combat of this game. And so, in combat, we have two things we can do. We have slow actions, and then we have fast actions. Or something for this, we have slow turns and fast turns. Now, players always go first. It goes players and and then the enemies. Now, if you take a fast turn, you can do either a movement or an action. If you take a slow turn, you can do a movement and an action. Now, you can only choose one. You can only choose fast turns or a slow turn. So if you choose a fast turn, everyone does fast turns first. Then whoever is doing the slow turn, do the slow turns next. And so if all my enemies do fast turns, sorry, if all my enemies do slow turns, and y'all pick fast turns, all gonna go first. Now say two of you do a fast turn, and two of my enemies do a slow turn, those of you that do fast turns will do it first, and then the enemies will do the slow turns next. And so with that being said, who wants to do a fast turn? Remember, fast turn, you can only do a movement or an action. And what about like taking out your equipment and stuff? Take out your equipment, I would say would be a... I actually don't know. I'm going to count it as a free action for right now. And I'm going to put it in things I need to look up. Uh, I'm going to count it as an action because everything I have is in my bag. So I'm going to have to rummage through this shit anyway. So, so, so fast turn is movement and an action and a slow turn... No. Is... One or the other. Uh, and a slow turn is both. Yes. yes. Okay, got, got you, got you. All right, so since I'm in the front here, I'm gonna take a slow action. I'll okay. Take a, I'll take a fast. Turn. All right, and so with that, so I want to know is who's taking the fast action, and then who wants to go first out of the fast actions? Can I get another rundown? What what is a fast action? What is so a fast action? Fast so it's turn. a fast turn. A fast turn lets you do either a movement or an action, like attack or a skill. A slow turn 
does both a movement and an action now the thing is you can only do one of them so you can't have a slow and a fast turn the thing is fast turns go first it's always the first so it's always fast players the fast enemies and then slow players slow enemies i'm gonna take a slow turn now you need to declare it right now so now in chat type out what you're gonna do fast or slow Okay, Peril, you're first. You're taking the first turn um, because you're the only one that's doing fast. All my guys are doing slow. So rats are slow. Uh, another big brain maneuver here. <laughs> so I like, I like I like one of them is fat. Peril, what do I do? Uh, I like to move here and and try to find a way out. Didn't really want to go to that thing either. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can't do the both because you're doing a fast action. I know. I just want to move here. All right. So you, you know, move I, there. Because you guys don't know that, but I'm already kind of injured <laughs> from before. Oh yeah, you are. That's too bad. Well, I don't have any weapons out, so. Oh, um, you are funny how that works. Because these, because these, these um rats. That is. Well, they're taking a slow turn, so. That ends my turn, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to go first because I need to get the heck out. All right. So, Lawrence, it's on you. How far can you move? 30? Like. It's inches? actually your speed. So your speed is actually how many squares you can move. And I need to set the, uh, the correct uh, grid setting. But in this case, your speed is 10, so you can move 10 squares. Okay. So five, I'm assuming, is a square. Actually, make every square um, two, in this case, so you can move five squares. Okay. One, two, three... I'm gonna move out here. That's kind of far. One, two... That's enough, yeah. Five, six... And uh, I'm gonna take my action to pull out my... Here's the thing, right? I have a small shield, but I never, like, got stats for it. It's uh, one defense. Or one, uh, yeah, one defense. One, def one, de one defense? Mm -hmm. Fuck what, that, I'm grabbing the stuff. What about a dagger? If I w wield a dagger, what does that do for me? Um, dagger? It's a weapon, it doesn't give you defense. Yeah. Does it give me one damage, I guess? A dagger is 1d3 of damage. Yes. Is there a d3 here, though? <laughs> yeah, you do, uh, here, solid for your quick demo. It's easy. Because I do, need, I do have some skills that do these threes, but I don't think I have the dice for it. Ah, oh, thank you. Because I also have like um, claw, like I also have claws that use a d three dice. Yeah, they're just as they're the same as a dagger. So what you want to do demo is change the name of the attack. So change it to like dagger attack, and then dagger damage. Okay. You roll the dagger to attack, and then you roll the damage once you've hit or not. Very well. So this, this, so this is also my claws then in the same vein. Yeah. All right. So you move, Lawrence. Now, who's next between Lazarus and Chinbelly? How much does a club do? Uh, club does one d six. So what you're going to do is, I'll do this for you, because uh, you don't have any cards real quick. So we're not going to do that, because that's going to be wrong. So let me remove this real quick for you, Alan. It is only strength-based, by the way. Oh, uh, you don't get damage increases, um, except for... Um... Actually, that's one thing I need to look at. I can't remember. So I don't need a dagger. I already have claws, then. I can, can I talk it. to these rats? Uh, nope. I was... Born by rats. I was born by... I was... I was molded by the rat. M molded. <laughs> These aren't normal rats. They have glowing oh. green eyes. Ferocious rats. These are normal. One of them is notably fat. So, take ah, that. My brother. As you will. So actually, I can sell this dagger because the dagger is essentially the claws I already have. If you're a cat. Yeah, that's gonna be a five copper pieces if you sell it. No. It in my human form. No, nope, can... you are a human in human form. You have no, no says... cat qualities. Unless I mean, I could be wrong, but. No, it says it's one of my talents in human form. You're, you're okay, okay, okay. 
Your unarmed strikes deal 1d3 damage instead of 1. Alright, got it. That's why I was referring to it. No, that's cat form, uh, demo. No, it's the human form. In cat form, there you get like a finesse thingy for one damage. All right, let's see what you're looking at. Yes, it says clawed hands. In human form, your unarmed strikes do. Got it, got it, got it. All right, yeah, got it. Right. instead of one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the same as daggers, yeah. Yeah. You, you see, I don't have the, the same talent on my cat form. Yeah, it's fine. All right, uh, so you're good there. So now, fortunately, with you. Chin belly, you're using a club, which is not agile, which means you're using your strength bonus, which is minus two to hit. I noticed, <laughs> which is why I am going to uh, get behind my bodyguard. Okay. That's your, body That's your bodyguard? Can I do anything like, like, defensive action? Well, they're not going to get to us. Okay, well, I'm just going to stand here then. All right. No, they, they might be fast. And now we go to Lazarus. It's on you. Yeah, I'll just I'll just whip up my staff, and that's about it. All right. I'm we now go to work. my guys. I hope they don't see me. I'm like hidden, right? They only saw them. To be fair. Yeah. They've got yeah. some movement on them. They do. Oh, this one does. I don't think the other one can make it. Well, the, this one you're talking about is fat, so I imagine the other one that's not fat. <laughs> oh, I shit. Guess they can. That's because they double moved. Oh, they don't attack then. Yeah. Oh, you can do, you can do that? I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm. When All you right. get. You can sprint just like in 5e, but you can't attack then. It's up around it. two. Do your actions. So now, for example, Lawrence. Sorry. Yeah, Lawrence can do a fast action to attack. Whereas if Chimbelly and Lazarus want to attack, they have to do a slow action because they have to move still. They're not within range. So, so if, Lo if, if, if Lawrence takes a slow turn, can he attack twice? I guess. No. Take no. A slow turn, then. But you, but, so you can't attack twice, but you can move twice. Yes. Uh, there, there's no attack of opportunity, or is there? There is, I believe, yes. I think that's a triggered action. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there is attack of opportunity. Whoops. Mm, I... Wait. Do you have to declare it? Yes. There you go. So you have to declare that you're attacking of opportunity before yeah. it happens. Oh, no, no, you just do it if they move, move away. <clears throat> you get one, you get one reaction, essentially. Uh, okay. Uh, and my guys are going slow. Oh, actually, they're going fast attack because they're next to you, so. Who, how do you know who's fast is faster? Hey, it's always fast. players. Players, then enemies go. Players always go first. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a fast turn then. Okay. I'll type it out. Let's get a good habit for doing that. <clears throat> So between so Lawrence cool. and um, Para, which one wants to go first? Uh, I don't mind if he wants to go first. I mean, why don't you go first then and see how fucked I am? All right. Two. Oh, sorry. Four, oh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll go here. Height, like, scale to the wall. And be wary of any more rats around. If I have to use just defend the. I am injured. So you have chosen death. All right. I mean, so he you see, is going... there is no exit here. Oh fuck! I'm trying to find the way out for us, so that, so that we can escape it. If we can't kill the rats, you have being useful. All right, Lawrence, it's on you. Uh, yep, well, I'm gonna attack the f fat rat. Alright, go ahead and roll your attack. That will miss. Yay, I'm dead. There's no, like, uh, defensive stances, right? Uh, I can't remember offhand. Oh, let's find out. One. There might be. Let me look up real quick. 
It's okay, I'm dead anyway. Hey, uh, so how- that, Perhaps that, that, not. about that new character, though? Well, I mean, that's it. I can't really do anything in this game. So, you can defend. When you defend until the end of the round, all attacks against you are made with one bane. And you make all challenge rolls resist attacks with one boon. But that is the action to do. Yeah, well, I already took my action to attack. Okay. I can't undo that. All right, we we'll now go to my rats. So, my large rat is what, going what to... About, what about... The other players who chose slow. Well, the rats chose a fast. The rats so chose fast there. because they're already standing next to me. Therefore, they attack first. Oh, all of them, not just one. Okay. They were standing next to me. Why would they need to take a slow turn? Mm. Good idea. It's Good. fast players, players who took the fast uh, turns, then enemies who took the fast turns, then players who took the slow turn, then enemies who took the slow turn. Uh, you should add a shield. All right, no, three damage okay. to you. So, Lawrence, you get hit by one of the rats. The next one is on a go now, and same thing. It is going to try and eat you. It absolutely does not. We now go to the slow actions, Lazarus and Chin Belly. Which one do you want to go first? Why, Lazarus I'll go first, wasn't that? he's a coward. Now, excuse me here. There wasn't any good room around here. If you want me to go first, I'll gladly go first to prove you. <laughs> no, I'll go. It's fine. Oh, I'll go. <laughs> I'll Do go. it. Lazarus goes. Can I attack them from this space? Please. Absolutely. Please take notes. That there's no, there's no, there are no like, um. I'll stab the no, big rat. There's, there's no like flank rules, right? No. Uh. <laughs> this is the right roll. The fat. Oh, shit. Nice. You yep. You hit it. Uh, can you check my sheet and see if this is the correct you, damage? I'm not how, sure. much, how much this, strength? This do, how much uh, strength? Do you have? There you go. But I don't think that's. Yeah, that's so good. okay. So under the the damage, the first box is the number of dice you roll. The second box is the damage bonus from strength. Okay. Yeah. How much strength and finesse do you have? Or agility. Oh, it's finesse. That's right. It's a finesse weapon. So it's still the same for you. Okay. So in that case, you smack the rat for three damage. Hail me. It squeals. Are and are Chim are Belly. It is very hurt. Do my claws count as finesse or as strength? I think they're finesse. They're finesse. If they if they count as a dagger, then they... Well, did they have the same damage as a dagger? I'm not saying they do count as a dagger. Alan, what are you doing? Are there, are there, there are are there strikes. Can I shoot the, with the sling? Is that based off of uh, agility? They're agility, yes. Yes. Which, yeah, you're, good with, you're actually good with the sling. So, what do I do here now? Uh, Demo, What's the sling needs, damage? It's the thing. Uh, Demo, your unarmed strike is... Finesse, so you can use agility for it. Is it set up with agility? I don't know. Well, you have to. What's your agility? Eleven. Twenty-three. Then okay. Put plus. Then put plus one on that box to roll for uh, to to roll with the. Uh, All right, Alan, you're good to go. So roll the attack and then roll damage if you hit. That oh is double damage. All right. Um. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to double it. Go ahead and roll your damage. The Do I just roll it twice? No, just roll it once. I'll double it. Hey, uh, how do you feel being a, a, a killer of... Alan, which one are you hitting, by the way? Parents? The fat rat. You're killing your own I'm animals. Right. sorry, brother. That one absolutely dies. You get hit in the head and it just goes out. <laughs> Chin belly MVP. All right, that now Chin goes belly. to the top of round. Wait, you can move. Yeah, he can move. He took a slow turn. But he has a sling. What is he gonna do with that? Smack him. And position it somewhere else. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. move five. I'm gonna move five. Uh... You see, if you went fast turn, you would have killed him before he damaged. I mean, that's sort of a you problem. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> wrong.
So the so the um, your attributes doesn't give you more damage. It just gives you plus one on an attack, right? Sorry, what's the question? Uh, demo. So, so the dagger or the claws that I have, they only give me plus one for attack, but not for damage. Right? Yes. Okay. Can you move uh, Alan? Because he wants to be, you know. All right, top of round four. Oh no, the coffer gang. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are these people? Good yep. day, sirs. They clearly got alarmed by uh, the sound of combat. All right, and so with that, they are going to. But like I can't we're... wait for the moment where you just spam the chat with fast. I like that uh, Peril. All right, Peril he's doing did much. not take a fast turn. He took a fat turn, dude. He about to do something. <laughs> yeah, he took a fat turn. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell me what you're gonna do. Uh, we fast, boys. Tell me you can only move or take an action and a fast turn. I know, but what am I supposed to do okay, in sure. my situation? Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Just let us die. It's fine. I'm looking for the exit. There's no exit here. Yeah, there it's is. probably uh, behind them. It's behind these guys. Yeah, You've already like... checked every single dead end. You wouldn't have known this unless I discovered All right. it. I already knew this. Herrera goes faster. One, two, four, six, eight. I'll go here. Okay. All right. That's all you can. That's nothing there. Demo. There's no exit. I come back now. All right. Between yeah. Chin Belly and Lawrence, which one wants to go? I think it's about time I go first. All right, Jim Belly, it's on to you. I shoot the rat. Shoot the rat. Nice. Oh Another. Was that? Does that count as a crit? No. No. Not just twenty. He needs to. One yes. damage. You smack it. They're still alive though. Just annoyed. All right, Lawrence, it's on to you. Smack. Hmm. Here comes my death. Oh, fuck. Not with that. Yep, that's useful. What can you actually do? All right, let me not go to large. It's not my fault. We're all flipping coins here. Large rat is going to try and eat you. Flip the coin better. Of course you will. And fails. All right. And Good now point. we go to the slow turn, so that's only going to be Lazarus. Yeah, I'm getting... Uh, Kill the rat. Getting the hell out of here. Over there. All right. And then spank it. Go for it. Hard. Spank this. Spank me. Is there like a flank? No, with that. Is there like a flank to you? He's... I can oh. probably put it in. Make it. I mean, you guys. I'll put it this way. You guys want to do I? Blah blah. I can't talk. Do you guys want flanking? It will be one no. boon. It will mm. fuck us up even more. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna use that against us. They entice us with bait with booms, but in actuality... Is All right, bait. Thief 3 is <laughs> going to use to his bow. But why would they attack us? Wait them? a minute, why are they attacking us? We're just attacking rats. Yeah, because you are not part of the Thief's Guild. And you're fighting down here. Earlier, we should now hold on here, I'll gladly pay my membership. There's no need to get violence, shall we? Now, Lawrence, yeah, they are Chimbele, they miss you. These guys are coughing. You can see oh, that they got blood sick. all over their uh, garments right now. Oh, they're all sick. Jesus. Uh, I have a question, Hers. Aren't there like player tokens and shit like that? Or am I miss? No, not in this things? game. No, there's okay. nobody. Nobody's. Tim Belly, you're the target of another attack. Greetings, sir. There's no, no, no. There's no, no need to get fired. That one will hit you. <laughs> Six damage, Tim Belly. <laughs> Six oh, damage. fuck. <laughs> he rolled max damage. Never should have come here. 
never should have come here. And I, I will remind you first that we don't have any self heals. I know. <laughs> you die, you die, man. You die, you die. Please, good sir, there's no need to get round ready. five. Who's doing what? There's still this rat here. Uh, well, you're kind of shielding me from harm right now, so. <laughs> I have my living shields over here. I'm, I'm dead, dude. Super dead. All right, let's see. That is all four players. All right. So, who's taking the fast slot? I will defend. All right, Lawrence, you're defending? Fantastic. And next is either Tim Belly or Lawrence. Which one do you want to go? Sorry, Tim Belly or Lazarus. Which one must go? Lawrence, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Look at that. Jim Belly. This man just getting out of here. Is there uh, a you, opportunity? Yes. Well, now there's no need to get vibe. <laughs> I shoot. Wait, wait, who was the ranged one again? Do you, uh, do the you two get, in the back. Do you get debuffs from using ranged at melee? Uh. I'm going to say right now, I'm not sure. I'm looking up. No, no. I'm going to go with no. Uh, I'm just going to try to convey my deepest desire to please focus damage on one individual at once and not spread it across multiples. Me shooty, large rat. Don't shoot the rat. <laughs> the rat has to die. If you shoot the rat, Kansai is not going to be able to do shit. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I shoot the thief for. Okay. <laughs> Implying I can do anything, even when I have. You hit! Okay. One damage! One damage, nice, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the uh, thing is only 1d3 damage, that's why. <laughs> Alright, Lazarus, it's on you. I will bash this focus school in right now. No. Try again with the rat. Nope. Ugh, nope. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. not. All right, oh. Rhett is going to try and eat the same person I've been fighting, which is Lawrence. And misses. Roll a two. You remember the Banes, please? Oh, that's right. forgot that. Sorry. All right, Peril, you're the first, you're the only slow player. I'll use my action to transform into a cat. All right. And then I use my movemental and be like, Four, six. Skedaddle here. It's you know that this there's nothing there. Yeah, it's, it's a brick wall. In. Yeah, but it, look, I'm gonna go as far as behind as possible and just try to sneak by the, the thieves. Okay. Alright, then we're gonna go to the slow players. Alright, number four is gonna try and get Lawrence. B Baines? I feel like my program yep. just froze up. Just restart. Can I just restart? Yeah, you can. Yeah. And okay. it'll, it'll load, me back, load me back into the screen. Ooh, completely yeah, yeah, yeah. misses. All right. And then you, you, number one. You have to open the, the map again, but it's in your notes or images. Yeah, because it's completely frozen. Yeah. Just restart the program. Yeah, re restart and then go to images and open this map again. And then, and then you're fine. Game. Well, also miss, Lawrence. So Lawrence is seeing these guys are trying to fight you, but they're coughing really, really bad, and just being it's affecting their ability to fight. I think I think if we have this, um, if we persevere, they'll kill themselves eventually from the disease. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Good luck. Number two is I'm trying to shoot Chimbele. Good luck, guys. We have no magic. What do you want me to do? Anything. We're literally like out here fighting for our lives. You don't realize I'm already wounded from before. If we die, you're going to die too. No, I'm a cat. They haven't seen my form. They only saw... Um, they only now see the cat behind you. Okay, I need, I need help for a second. How do I get back into the battle map? Uh, go, go, 
Coda images. images. On the right. And then, and then ST8. Wow, they have all missed. All right, that's good for you guys. All right, top of round six. No idea what you're talking about. Images to the top right, and there is a... Top right, on the right side, there's like characters, notes, uh, images, I story. See. ST8, the last one. Your instructions were horribly unclear. I literally No, your ears are horribly fucking dirty. Sorry for disappointing you. I literally said what you had to do. I still love you. Me too. I love you more. We're not doing this. I'm gonna smother you with love. Alright, what X did you guys want to do? Yeah, it's an image that looks like a IST eight and it's a weird string. I'm yeah. already in there, it's fine. Got it, alright. Yeah. It's a weird coronavirus string, dude. Yeah, so, that sucks. So, so Hursk, as far as the thieves are aware, they didn't see my, my human form, but they now see a cat behind Lawrence, right? Yes. Good. All right. They won't shoot it. Lawrence Chimbelli, who wants to go first? You won't shoot a cat. I dude. think it's about your turn to go first, Lawrence. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna defend. <laughs> All right. No, you. you All right. Shoot a cat. Dude. And then between. I was going slow, so Chimbelly, it's on you. Me shoot the... You can shoot the rat now. Never mind. Alright, so we now go to my fast guys. Which is all of them. Alright. Rat is going to continue trying to eat Lawrence. Oop, got the thing. Uh, no, no, that's going to matter or not. And it's going to hit... Jesus. Sorry, man. I've been trying for two turns to kill this thing. Alright, that is one damage. I'm going to go to the thieves with this fighting going on in their place. Alright. Who actually sees the Steve slope? My apologies. These can only go slow um, because of sickness. So it now goes to Peril or Lazarus. You want to go first, Kunsei? I guess I'll go first. I have a mission. You know what it is. Yes. I gotta wreck this rat. No matter how long it takes. You got it! Roll damage. Yay! For the Imperium. Give me one damage. You did it! You <laughs> killed the rat. <laughs> For the Imperium! Alan. Yeah! <laughs> Alan, you came prepared. <laughs> Alan, you uh, came let me prepared. check here. How much movement can I... You have, you have five of them. Maybe five squares. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Alright. Yeah. Right. Get to cover. Oh, nice. Alright, that goes to Peril. Being abandoned here. So, the thieves want a type of opportunity in here, right? Maybe. I'm a cat. Depends. I'm a defenseless, I'm a defenseless cat. Maybe they had animals. Yeah. I'll, I'll use my action for double movement. All right. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. He's, yeah. he's gonna. Six, eight, ten. I wanna like. I wanna. I wanna go like through chin belly, skedaddle on the wall. Okay. And just rest on top of a porch thingy. Hopefully I don't get shot. I'm just a cat. All right, number four is going to try to skewer it in, Billy. Cut his beard off. Mm, that will hit him, Billy. Cut one Chimbele's of his... Dead. For four Cut damage. One. Oh, Jesus. Chimbelly is on the ground dead. Or on, he's bleeding, he ain't dead yet. Oh, Jesus. Cut one of his fortunes. <laughs> Alright. The chins give him power. The more chin rings he has, the more power he has. We now has. go to thief number two. Is going to move forward. Oh, thank God. Out of ammo of the three arrows. The thief number one is going to attack Lawrence. I'm just an innocent little cat. You and miss. Cat. The thief three is going to be forward can, also. Kunsai, can you explain what you're doing, by the way? Because uh, 
I'm getting out of harm's way for now. <laughs> you you literally are I unhurt. I already attacked. What was I supposed to do? Hopefully they'll well die. Range, my friend. All right, we only got uh, these guys. If you persevere, they'll die from disease. I swear. Cats can't talk. They won't die until we kill them. You don't, I mean, they have disease. Uh, There's her wisdom. What's when up? you're when you're slow. Can you take a defense and an attack, or is that no? Because the defense is the action. Okay. If I teleport, I could teleport some of them away. Or Can you I'm... could, you know, turn into a human and fucking at least slash them. I have, I have wounds, Mike. I, I don't. Good. We're both a one shot here. Good, Mike. <laughs> Keep it up. All right, it's on you, Lawrence. I'm attacking. Thief number four. I'm Oops, sure you can. twice. I'm sure you can. Do First of all, it's good. I'm sure you can do it. Oh, fucking fantastic! Ugh. All right. He's hurt. Yes. He gets hit by this. He's definitely hurt. All right, and then it goes to no fast action, so all the players now go. Actually, all players go. Can you want to go first again? Uh, what, is, what about Shinbelly? Is he down or? Yeah. <laughs> Please, someone. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll uh, I'll skedaddle over back here. So oh, should... actually, real quick, uh, end of the round, I need you, Shinbelly, to roll a d6 to see if you actually start dying. Should I do that now? Yep. You did the end of the round, so you actually would have done it uh, last round. Is that death? Uh, didn't, didn't roll. It didn't go through. All right. That means you are well. You're incapacitated. You're still hurt. You're gonna roll a one. You're gonna roll dust every round, and until you either die or get stabilized. If I roll the one, what would happen? You start dying. Thank God. That's what you want. No, I, I rolled a one, but didn't count, so I had to reroll. Shouldn't Thank have God. said that because our guard isn't merciful. Thank God. All right, so Lawrence, or Lazarus, just move there. Yeah. So I actually have a question. Yes. How long does stabilizing take? So here's how the things work. So Alan's gonna roll a d6 every round, and at, at, at the end of every round, if he gets one, one on the dice, he starts dying. If he gets a six, he heals one HP. If he gets a two through a five, three times, he stabilizes. He just comes unconscious. I see. Two or a three? A uh, two, three, four, or five. Okay, so. So if he, if he rolls two, so essentially if he rolls a six, or next six he gets fine. If he rolls a two through a five, the next two rounds, he's fine. If he rolls a one, he starts dying. Hmm. What does start dying mean? Um. Let's see. Oh, come on, you're just dead. So if he rolls a one, he's just dead. Yeah. Okay. So... And uh, he cannot be stabilized. Uh, yeah, I think he heals someone. Yeah, but like not right now. We can't like stop yeah. to. Yeah, we don't have any healing or anything. Oh, you know, my, okay, like... my apologies. All right, so if you roll a one, you start dying. If when you're dying, you roll a one, then you actually die there. Okay. Uh, can we do something right now to help him? Uh... Not until all of those thieves die from the plague. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you can stabilize. I'm gonna say you can stabilize them. I imagine why you wouldn't be able to. I'll look it up. I'm, I'm gonna say yes. Okay. It's a jam call. Uh. I have an actual question about healing potions. Mm hmm Are they actions? Free actions? Um, I say it's an action. Can I not? And you can't feed them to somebody who's dying. I'll see why not. We just shove in his mouth. It'd be an action. So you can't feed him a, a potion. Yeah, yeah. Same thing like DD. You just literally open the mouth and shove it down the throat. Okay. Mm. Uh, I have 
four wounds. I have nine health. I have five HP. The chances of them killing me in one hit, if one of them hits, is pretty small. Uh, does it only take an action to stabilize Chin Belly, or do I need several? It's one action. Okay. Roar. I guess I'll do that now, then. All right. Go ahead and give me a... Intelligence roll at one bane. Ah, uh, yes. The fucker. I knew it. Uh... Oh, actually lucky. You I'm have a win. decent chance of succeeding here. Mm. Okay. You're stabilized, Jim Belly. You ain't dead. You're stabilized. Yay. No more rolls, but you still at zero. You have to actually get healed. Well, I'm sure I'll leave his corpse alone or body. All right. Jimbo is already done, so it means to go to Peril. All right, do I see, from my point of view, do I see anything in the back here that I could use for, like, as an environmental environmental hazard for the feet? Any, like, oil, maybe, or, like... Well, I think there's a box we... of stuff, like, right here. Right here, if you can see. And I'll say there's some items. There's, like, a, there's a short bow there, as well as a couple daggers. There's a sword propped on the wall couple spears, and there's a couple of uh, potion bottles also. Potion bottles. Any, anything that I could trigger to cause damage environmentally? Like, is there like some easily uh, mislodged rock I can use? Or something that will harm them in the cat form? In the cat form? No. Not really. I just want to jump on him as a cat. Alright, how many potions do I see? There's about three of them. I can grab one with my mouth. Is is picking up is picking up a potion in action? In a cat form, yeah. Alright, let's see this. Two, four, six, eight. That's just enough. Yeah, uh, look at that. I'll use one action to move and another action to pick up the potion into my, in my mouth. Alright, you got a couple. There is a red. Green and orange. Fuck! Can I roll? <laughs> can I roll intelligence to know if I know what these are? Sure. At uh, one bane. I have no Pretty idea. Smart little cat. I'm trying. They're full of fruit juice. He done. He done it. I All done right. it. Now, obviously, the red's probably going to be a healing potion. The green's maybe a poisonous potion. Orange, you're just not sure. Just, it's a fireball <laughs> potion. Which one do I get? <laughs> uh, I, I mean... Yeah, I'll take the healing potion. Let's... I'll take the healing potion into my mouth. Okay. Also, do, do Why don't I... you just chug it already? Because I want to give it to Alan. And I can't chug it if I already picked it up, can I? I mean... That's another action to chug, right? I say about the chug around if you want to. How much would it heal? Do I know? Uh, it's going to be double your healing rate. So four. Oh, oh yeah, when does healing rate come into play? Like right now? Rest. And yeah, when you rest. And when you have activities that, uh, like actual actions that trigger your healing. Yeah, so once you become level one, you actually get like abilities that might trigger it, like a priest would. Ah, uh, okay. So if you like cast a healing spell, you heal your the you healing rate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, do I save it for Ellen or do I eat it myself? Getting Ellen back into the fight right now is unfeasible. It would be easier if you healed yourself and just turned to human form and tried to do some damage from behind. Probably, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll chug the potion then. Okay, so we're gonna heal down to one wound. Yeah. Alright, we now go to the thieves. Thief number four is gonna try and see what's going on. He's gonna try to stab Lazarus. I anticipate death. Don't worry, my friend. <sighs> no, the problem is. Getting out of cat right. He coughs and tries to swing at you, Lazarus, but he misses because 
the coffin, the coffin of blood and everything. Now you see these guys? These guys seem to be very, very sick compared to, besides the merchant, the other people you've even seen. Hmm. And the question is, when they're in such a close proximity, will they pass on the plague to them? Maybe. This guy steps over on top of Chimbelly, because, well, Chimbelly is uh, on the ground, and also tries to stab Lazarus. Show me what you've got. Man, these guys get well shit. All right, you guys are being surrounded. Yeah. They are sick. All right, they've all missed. Leaving, they're all slow because they're sick. They have to go slow. Uh, so they can't take fast action. So it leaves you guys to be good. So we're going to go to next round. Everyone, they got to go slow. So all you can go. All of you can go. Mm. They don't need to type it out because they can only go slow. So you guys can go. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're poisoned. They're, they're sick. This is making them go slow. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna try to attack the guy below me, but at the same time, I would like to shout to them, like, Guys, what are you doing? You're sick and dying. Stop this nonsense. Go ahead, and I would say a Bane and a Boon, because they're in their lair, but at the same time, they're very, very sick. So I'm gonna give a straight roll. Give me a will roll. Nice. They don't listen. Does that my action, or I can still attack? Um, I would still attack if you want to, but I'll be at one bane if you do. Okay. Bane. Attack. Go staff. Nope. Ooh. All right. Uh, Lazarus or Para? Who wants to go? Uh, Cat person. I go then. Uh. I can't talk if I transform, right? Is it, it's an action to talk? No, you talk. I'll transform if I do, into... do a skill check, it's an action, technically. Right, I'll, I'll transform back into a human form. Alright. Mm. Can I grab the potion without an action? You yeah. Drink it. I'll grab the orange one. Okay. And... Uh, with that, I'll... Walk up here. One, two, yeah. I'll walk up here. All right. And I'll say, um, guys, the guards are on their way here. We need to stop this. We need to get out of here now. Give me at one boon a um, will roll. My will is not good, but... <laughs> nice boon, dude. Nice boon. Wow! Alright. <laughs> they don't run. Bruh. Bruh. I guess we just bash him down, then. Lazarus. That's all I could, all I could have done. Lazarus the will attack V4. Because I can. Peace is not an option. Apparently it is. <laughs> no, it is an option. <laughs> Alright. Pacification was never an option. <laughs> All right, number four is gonna try and just can't believe these absolutely guys. misses. Yep, these guys are just way too sick, which is good for you guys. It is. You better get lucky eventually. But I wish I could have convinced them. But you had a chance. Not... You had a chance right there. That's right. Ooh. All right, Did that you one. Transform into human. That one does hit uh, Lawrence. That does. Hit. All right. Okay. I have an orange potion in hand. One damage. Okay. All right. Then last guy is gonna try and smack into Lazarus. This is not a rave. Please stop. He misses. Actually, no, he hits Lazarus. Yep, Lazarus, he hits you. All right, and he smacks you, Lazarus, for... He stabs you, three damage. Oh, no. All right. Top of the round, you guys can go. I'm going to drink it. Am I still dying, or did I get revived? Uh, you're stabilized, but you're not dying, so... 
We're going conscious I'm right now. I'm just, I'm just rolling away. I'm gonna just... Alan, I'm gonna very quickly show you something that very annoys me. Can you please fix it? Thank you. Uh, now, it, it's an action to drink a potion, right? Uh, it's what? I'm gonna say it's fast action. Or it's, um, you can substitute a movement for it if you want to. Well, I, mean, I know, but like, I get the slow, I get the slow action, slow turn anyway. Yeah, but you can use the movement action as doing it. So you can, like, drink a potion and attack, I'm gonna say. Oh, so I can drink and attack? I'm gonna say yes. Alright, then I will drink the healing potion that I have. Hmm, okay, oh. so... Look at the rule right now. I'll use it for this round right now, but look at it and actually it's use an item. But for right now, because I already said, I'll let you go and do it. So that's down to one wound. Uh, oh, you can give me a bane to attack at least. I'll do that. So taking the bane. That will hit. Which one are you hitting? Number four? Number four, yeah. Right. I wanna, like, Got it. He's hurt. One. He's got to roll good. It's, it's okay, you know. But that will do it. So he goes out. All right, that was Lawrence. Who's next? I guess I'll go. It's fine. Bash Thief 2. Let's go, baby. Give it to me. Go for Lazarus. Hit him. You hit him. Whoa, you actually. Roll good. Actually uh, not good, though. Wait, your staff. No, your staff deals plus one extra damage. What do you mean? Staff deals 1d6 plus 1. Does it? Yes. Yes. So sweet damage. You've missed damage the entire time, apparently. Yeah, you have been. It's fine. None of you are dead. Close to it, but not yet. It's just... <laughs> yeah, so it's... Peril! It's on you. Uh, I'll attack Thieve 1. Go for it. With my clothes. No, you won't. No, I don't. All right. All right. Yeah, They're looking desperate. I think I think Alan still dealt the most damage out of it. They got a natural twenty, so. Ooh, Even they the they hit La they hit Lazarus. Oh no. I mean, For six damage. Doing? Whoa! All right, Man, Lazarus. Rapidly been you go down. Oh, right, Lazarus, fuck. you're also down. I'm a helpless ten, so I go down with nine wounds. Well, just... your wounds was at three, so you yeah. now wounds go up to nine. Or your wounds were at uh, not three; they're at um. Yeah, they're nine now. Does he have health. ten health? How did this... Yeah, I have ten health. So he's still alive. No, his wounds before was higher than three, I believe. I'm gonna go through chat, I guess. But he was three. I'm pretty sure I got it for, for three once, and now for six. I'll leave you at 9, but I think you went down, but I'll leave you at 9 right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, because uh, we have other more guys to worry about, so this one's going to try and smack Lawrence. He's got a Bane. He comes in with a Spear, and he will hit. Bring it, bitch. He will for 2 damage. The last guy is going to turn on Peril. He sees this person. He's going to try and stab Peril and absolutely misses. Top for all of you guys. Now, this is where the moral decision comes in where if, if I see Lazarus falling down, I might just... <laughs> uh, still Are you going to take an attack of opportunity if you leave? Not if I transform into a cat. Well, they'll know that you're a cat then. And then they all attack you anyway. I'll just run away. Uh, I guess I'll stay. Hopefully, we can kill them. You don't have to do a fast. You yeah, they can only go slow because they're sickness. I'm attacking thief number one. All right, Lawrence, go for it. Can we get some boons to them being demoralized after one of them died and we and being so sick? 
Yeah, I'll give it to you. Take one boon. For all attacks? Yeah. Alright. Because they're, like, they're very, very sick now, so they're getting hard to defend themselves. That'll hit. <gasps> that will smack him. Which one was that? Um, was that to number, number three? Number one. Number one. Number All right. One. He is super hurt. Who's next? Come on, Peril. I'll do it. Come on, Peril. You get a boon, Peril. Come on, Carl. Come on, Peril. Do it, Dad. We're all dead now. Oh, that fuck. will definitely do it. I do. All you gotta do is one damage, and he oh will God. die. He's dead. Pull the mash. Loads into gore. <laughs> Feed number two. Here we go. Give me a boon. Give do me not fail boon. and die anymore. Okay. This is incredible. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Lazarus ain't gonna do it. <laughs> it's okay, Konsai. You're used to this. I'm used to it. It's All right. Fun. The last remaining oh. guy. See what's going on? From his pouch bucket, drops a potion on the ground. It explodes into a fog of dirt, Which dust, does? and blackness. Which one does it? C3? What color was the potion? It was black. Okay. And they try to both run away. Both thinking it attacks an opportunity. Attack. You, have to get, you have to see him first. So, um, actually, you need to go and attack. It's one Bane. Um, or two Bane for an attack. Can I see them with Shadow Sight? No, because it's a, it's a, like a cloud. It's obscuration. Yeah. Right? Darkness. So, so, I, so I don't get attack opportunity. You do, but it's at two Bane. Yeah, I missed. I'll try. And... Lazarus, you do too. Well, this is the time. Right now, so... Hey! Apparently that misses. Right? No. No, no, that's not enough. Here we go. No. Ugh. Now you gotta roll really high. What? All right. Oh. They get away, leaving them gone. You hear them. You kind of cough as a cloud erupts in the area, but they both get away. Combat is not over. Uh, I walk up. I walk up to the obese goblin and hand him the orange potion. <laughs> we don't know what that does. Here, this should help. You know, this is the foundation of science right here. Can we, can I interpret <laughs> what, what the orange potion does? Can I figure it out? Um, for you, it'll be too Bane. Might as well try. All right. Intelligence, I assume. Mm-hmm. Oh, nope, I don't. No idea. But we shouldn't well, feed him I know orange. About it? I don't really know what you're a priest. Is. Yeah, but this would be kind of herbal, uh, herbology, not priest stuff. Okay. Well, That's you fine. can still try it to bane and then roll yeah. intelligence. Oh boy, I guess I will try. You only need you only need eleven or ten or whatever the fuck. That's amazing. Even even with a six, you know, there's still a chance. See a sixteen or higher. Oh, oh all right. Oh, what did I say? This is alchemical fire. <laughs> this <laughs> would kill. This would kill a chimbe or uh, chimbelly. <laughs> Don't drink it. It's alchemical fire. What? It is. It it goes super hard. Fire. Super hot. Super hot. Uh, were there any more potions over there? No, nope, that is it. No, there's okay. a there's poison. Goodness. Well, there's green. Yeah, but they, can we like? Do anything to Chenbele to make him not dead, or does he need to? He's just super knocked out, I think. Yeah, he's unconscious. Did you try to wake him up? Yeah. Um, this would be at one bane, a essentially a medicine roll. If anything that can help out here, um, any background, but it will be at one bane. I'm an outlander, which means that I had to take care of myself when I was in the woods alone with uh, her, her medicine of her various was... natural plants. Right, then one boon. So it'd be uh, cast each other out. So base roll. Straight roll. Mm -hmm. Intelligence. Mm hmm. Oh, nope. Can't do it. Hersk, would, uh, you know, by the person who I was raised by, would that be able to. No, because we're going for background. So in this case, no. Okay. Um, 
Well, I failed, so somebody else can try anyway with a boon. You're a priest. Yeah, I see, I see a priest to be able to do it with a, uh, a boon. So it'd be a base roll? It, roll of intelligence. You got a, almost a coin flip. Come on. <laughs> Keep making me roll these dice. Can't do it! No, that's, and I, I super hate them. Alright, All right, Peril, you go ahead and try. Try what? Try, try to help him. How? You also, you don't, you don't know my name. What are you talking about? I, well, yes, I know your name. No, you don't. The yes, least do. talkative talking cat ever. You're All right, cat, what so... are you doing? I guess I'll walk. Like but I guess my, my thing froze up again. How many banes? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, it's one bane. bane. Just go, itaino, itaino, tondeke! I'm sure that'll work. Uh, would you look you at that? You slap him awake! You slap him across the face, and... <laughs> Chimbele, you wake up! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's rough. <laughs> we killed everyone. And I saved you. Where's my money? I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> I we, need to, like this we, need to, we need to. We need to. We need to get the hell out of here and fast. All right, follow me. It's this way. Let's get that. You Stupid run cat. the hell out of this. So you run through the tunnels. Eventually, as you run, you come across their two bodies on the ground, dead. From oh, their. The we're running. Yeah, the ones you're fighting. You recognize them, and oh, wait, wait, they died wait. from coughing. Uh, the 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 tools that we found, I'm grab as much as I can. Like I need a I need a short bow. I'll grab I'm the that. I'll grab the poison bottle before they arrive here. Uh, I'm taking the short bow for myself. I don't know what else was in here. All right, so there. Are... Wait, what's there? What's the two short bows? I'm taking. One. There are three bows, as well as daggers that they all had. So we got four daggers and three bows. Uh, can I, can I grab do the we have room for all of them, by the way? Can we just take them all? You can take them all, yeah. Uh, you take everything. Yeah, you all. also can take, uh, that's about all they had. Amount of coins, go ahead and roll me a, all of you roll me a D4. What? Can I grab the bottle of poison before they get here? Yes, you can. Nice. Right. Each of you find that amount of copper. Yeah. Lawrence, you found four copper. Your luck strikes. And then once again. someone else roll me a D four. Just one person. Oh. Who has the best luck here? All right. Oh, you of course. And you find a satchel of four silver. Yo. Kill him. Fucking rich boys. Kill Do we like money. split it? Do we split it equally? Um, I'm gonna say for this one, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, then everybody gets one. No, don't put it in. I'm gonna do it myself. Okay. Even the copper? And... Not the copper, but the silver I will. So each of you take the individual copper. Um, well, that just added it to like a box, but didn't actually give me. It's actually, SS, not SP. I should, I'm actually done in the first place, but I'm kind of thinking about the stuff right now, so I actually did that. Oh, well. It's okay. It's SS, by the way, not SP. Huh? It's SS, not SP. Oh, okay. So what you, what you did is you've given us one SP into our currency box, but it didn't increase our silver. Yeah, because everyone does have... Okay, give me a second, because no one actually has that. So give me a second. I'll redo it. There. Okay. It's fine. Now, you get outside... And here you come across a couple things. You see that the city is in the midst of turmoil. It's chaos. You hear yelling and screaming and even some fires coming from within the city of Nevenin right now. This hidden entrance tunnel has a item. There's a couple of boxes here that are being essentially offloaded or loaded into the this place to smuggle in. And for you, Lazarus, you recognize an individual that has a bundle of furs. 
The same furs that the merchant had. Huh. Wait. I gotta connect the dots here, but my brain is really slow. They were, they were smuggling the furs into the town. Mm-hmm. And these are the furs that the uh, merchant had. Now, to reiterate, all of you are witnessing people getting sick, but the one that got the worst are the people here and the merchant that was on the furs up top. Well, we all saw the furs in the merchant, so we can recognize this. Is there any hint of where these furs came from? When you were talking with him, he told you that getting good first uh, sales up north is going to be a problem, which means that he came from there. Hey, so what are your guys' names anyway? We should burn these furs first, man. We should definitely yeah, we should burn, burn the furs. We should burn this. We should burn this. <laughs> They play to me. <laughs> we so, like you light the furs you. on fire, you burn them, and then yeah. we will pick up the next game from right there. But at this point, you all gain your first actual level. You all yeah. survive. This is where, this is where um, the video game begins. Did I pick up some arrows from the corpses? Sure. Okay. Uh, from the from from the bottom. Wait, do we have to keep track of arrows or no? It's abstract. So if you roll multiple zeros, so if you get disadvantages, if you roll multiple zeros, you actually run out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, it's it's better.